She never shows up. And he starts doing the whole show. He looked at me in my eyes and he was like, open your mouth. <laughs> He's just flinging shit into my mouth. I'm just like, I'm actively trying to catch it too. I'm, yeah, so, I was like, whatever, at least no one saw this. My date wasn't here. And I look over and there's like this group of cheerleaders on their phones recording me the whole time. Um, What's the biggest red flag you've ignored in a friend? In a friend? So a platonic relationship, a platonic relationship red flag. <laughs> he seems so excited to oh tell his story. God. To all our people that are watching this podcast, Go ahead and leave that that special emoji in the comments right now. Y'all yeah. know what to leave them. You know what I mean? Leave it, leave it for them. Flood it, flood it. Man. Do math right now. <laughs> hey, 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 I got an idea. Just sleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Step one. Go to close, bed. Close your eyes. <laughs> no, I uh, I woke up today and I looked at the calendar and it said twelve. And then for some reason, my ashes went right back to sleep. <laughs> Yeah. I did that hey, one. I, I, that I did that one thing where it's like you close your eyes and you're like, oh, okay, I just rest it for like two seconds, and then next thing I knew, I woke up 30 minutes later. I'm like, yeah. the the scariest shit you can do shit. is when your alarm goes off, and instead of hitting snooze, you hit stop because oh. like you're confident that you're gonna get up, and uh. then you wake up like two hours later and you're oh, just like, yeah. Fuck. wait, something uh. happened between us because we only got like two hours of sleep last night because we were recording. Oh my god, the flight, and I told him I can't wake up to my alarm. Like I just don't ever? hear yeah. it ever. Okay. And he <laughs> said, that's like, what is that? That's not <laughs> weird. Is that crazy? That's weird. There's a there's a Beak, Ever? A beacon going off in your room and you can't hear it. But you it just becomes up. like a part of the nighttime. Like it comes like a part of the dream. No, I, I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Guy, so that, guy, it's late. No, yeah. you're talking about. So then how do you get up? Well, That's normally awesome. just by n nature. Like, like circadian rhythm. Just yeah, yeah just like my natural body you get time. Out of rim stage four sleep and you just wake up. But you're good. I normally don't schedule stuff for the morning though. Yeah, but when you're playing organized sports and you have morning practice, how, how did that work? Oh, uh, that'd be... Yeah. Saving grace again. Oh. <laughs> Wake up, buddy. That's yeah. his alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys, you guys shared a room and live yeah, together? We're, we're roommates. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. real quick. When you, when you, when you, because you got to face us, try to like carry it with carry you, with keep me. it gotcha. in front of your mouth. Gotcha. Yeah. They should have sat where you were sitting. And then no. We've gone, we've gone <laughs> over this, man. Why are you acting brand new? <laughs> Brando's like, yes. <laughs> But uh, yo, have, you ever, have you ever been like deep in sleep and then you're like, man, this sleep is too good right now. <laughs> and then you think like, wait a minute, this is sus. I'm sleeping way too good. And then you wake up from <laughs> that and you look at the alarm and it's like you, you miss your alarm. Oh, yeah. That's every yeah. night. Yeah. Yep. Every night. Yeah. All the time. If I don't get like violently woken out of my sleep, then I know that something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I and I wake up automatically because hey, I'm like, something's wrong. Tell them what's, what's the first thing that pops into your head when you wake up. Oh, fear. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no! Don't, don't agree with him. Please, don't <laughs> thank you. Please, thank you. Please, don't I, have, I have crippling anxiety. Oh, right now thank you. Okay, so we're the yeah. same. Like right now, I'm wet. Like I'm sweating because there's just a lot going on. You, but you every time I wake up, like I'm checking doors and stuff. <laughs> but I noticed some of your videos that you seem to have a lot of anxiety in just everyday life. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's like my natural state is just constant he fear just, and he worry. He just secretes fear yeah. like 24/7. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but Earth, dude, you're six four, man. What are you scared of? <laughs> I don't know, but I just like it's just everything. Like, what if you know what I mean? Like, if <laughs> I to, what is something that scares you on a daily basis? Then, other than waking up, God, life, life, breathing, like, like he, he driving. Sucks. I hate driving. He's what? also allergic to a lot of things, from what I heard. You are. <laughs> I just, I just don't like a lot of things. Like, I just like. He's lactose. What is it? Yeah. What else is? It? Oh yeah, I am lactose. <laughs> You Wait, forgot. so do you not eat ice cream ever? Oh, I love it. I, yeah. I just have to like <laughs> deal with that See, shit. That, deal that, with that, okay. my decision. I hope I'm not hurting anybody's feelings. People that are lactose and you choose to indulge in ice cream, like that's that's selfish. Are you Come nuts? on, <laughs> that's selfish. He's got to especially if you're in like a if you're with people. With yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah. just that's selfish. He's got to live with you, share your bathroom. He's experienced you in the worst. You know, <laughs> like they're just. Sh the rest of the night, like yeah. it's just, it's not a good. I move. have to it's enjoy my move. life. I love ice cream. I love yes. uh, like pizza, which yes. is all you know, dairy. But you know, I'll sit down for a couple hours on the commode, deal with my decision. <laughs> yeah. That's it's the so same good. thing as um, I tell them I'm I'm allergic allergic to avocados. Okay. Oh, so shit. what I do is like once a year, I get a random craving for avocado toast. <sighs> my ex was white, and she introduced me to it. <laughs> And uh, so I, I pop a Benadryl and then I eat the toast really fast and then I wait for the Benadryl to kick in and I take a nap. 
You see this? I do that once a year. You, you know what? Yeah. I, feel like, yeah. I feel like all his stories somehow relate to his ex in some way. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm, she, I'm, I'm nobody. She created him. <laughs> yeah, literally. Damn it. Whoever you are, we'd like to interview you if yeah. you're watching this. Yeah. You, you made this bring, hey, bring the Benadryl, bring the avocados. Yeah. You made this man who he is today. Hey, real quick, before we get any deeper into the, the, the podcast, I want to say we're very close to 100K on YouTube. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been watching. So make sure if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, before we start to hate you, please subscribe <laughs> because we need to get to 100K. I think we can do it in the next month. Um, no, so we're yeah. 20,000 followers away from No, we're less than that. We're almost 15,000 followers. We're like 83K now. No, I promise you, it's like we just crossed 80. Uh, uh, fact check? Look, at, look it up. Hold look it up. up. Fact Hold check. Up. Loser no, takes hey, another suit. Yes. You know, yeah. But you, you guys got to take it with us then. Whoever, with no, the no, no, who do you bet on? Who do you bet on? Who's right? Me or him? Yeah, hold on, okay, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't so, say you're, so you're saying you just crossed... So you're saying you're we closer... We just crossed 80K. He said 84. No, over, I said 83. Over, no, under, th- over under 83. I said 83. I said 83 to begin with. What did you say? 80, what did you say? I'd say we're below 81,000. Okay. On the main 80, channel. 80. I said we're closer to 83. Who do you think is right? Closer to 83. I'm right with Wu-Tech. Closer to 83. Wu-Tech's right. I I oh, check it every time the main channel. 86, guys. Oh, 86. hell yeah. Oh. yeah. Congratulations. Goofy Goober. Which Take means, which means, honestly, 86 yeah. is crazy because we just checked that like two days ago. Yeah, it, that yeah. 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 that's why I check it every 10 that minutes because you uh, never know. So you guys are blowing us up very heavily. Keep and we appreciate that. Awesome. Let's try to hit. I'll pour for you. No, 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 I don't trust it's you. It's February. You're my, you're my I, have to make sure, I have to make sure you get poured. Yes, it's February. I'm here. I got you. It's February. They bet on you. Dude, they argue on stage. <laughs> yeah, <you better laughs> he looks scared. <laughs> Let me get one. I'll, I'll pour you up a little bit yeah. anyway, so we'll, we'll take one him. later. There we go. Oh, Don't give one? one to our son. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, you need me. help drinking that? Sometimes he calls me their daughter <laughs> out of nowhere. and it <laughs> It's funny, though. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. But yeah, that was, uh, for the last 30 seconds, that was probably very bad oh, for yeah, audio. Oh, yeah, hey, so is... Is the 100K plaque 100% going right there? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's definitely going 100%. on the set. We don't know where yet because hopefully by then we redesigned the set a little bit like gotcha. we are talking about. Oh, there's a 100K plaque? Oh, yeah. That's the silver that's one. The, yeah, that's the silver one. You didn't wow. know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck. Dude, we'll and probably hit 100K you, by the end of might, this month. I was about to say, you that's might be touching that like yeah. March 1st into I February. So. Oh. Hopefully. They just send it to you? Wait, yeah, cheers, they, oh, I think you got to apply well, yeah, you for have to apply, yeah. okay. Cheers to 100K. Wait, why are we... Ta- we won this. We don't got to yeah, do this. Yeah, we don't yeah. got to do this. Oh, why did you pour, why'd you pour for Just them? Just in case for later. later. Oh. For later. Yeah. Right now, it's the losers. <laughs> Anyways, um, Esther's just like, uh, <laughs> I, I, I bet on you. I Let's lost. gear the questions back towards them. No, 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 but yes. So something that I thought when I was doing the deep dive that was genius by so you did you start it alone in the beginning i did yes and so something you did that was genius the small details like this guy's really smart you looked <laughs> off camera oh you you realize how did you come up with that when did you think when did you know that that was a move oh wow oh they're good good real yeah. good <laughs> um some fbi shit i was right like here. dude i was literally like whoa that oh. simple twist because first i was like okay when did they start when did you come into play and then yeah. i saw all these videos of you blown and then you were turned off camera, and I was like, "That's a genius and, and move." And to explain it further, there was no one he was looking at. It was <laughs> it was him pretending to talk to somebody. Yeah, how'd you come up with that? Um, so season one of the podcast, when I first started, it was going to be like an interview based podcast, which I did, which mm-hmm. I used every connection I had from NBA players to different celebrities to like Mark Phillips of RDC World. And then I got to a point where I was like, I've ran out of all my connections. <laughs> um, so I literally had nothing to post. And I didn't think I was interesting enough to like post stuff about me. That's why I was interview based. You're a six four light skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we do we give the real height? You, yeah, you can't see yeah. our, our real height six seven, but you know. Oh. Just counting. <laughs> well, you, just, you just subtracted three, man. <laughs> give the th- oh, I'm just kidding. But um, it's it's because our fans all our, our fans yeah, are they, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I was like, I need to find a way to pivot and cause it, that's the n- name of the game for content creation is like mm-hmm. pivoting and finding new stuff to do evolution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so Constantly I was like, changing. let me growing, try <laughs> to, words. yeah, let me try <laughs> to uh, find like a new way to, you know, keep this podcast going. So I was like, I'm just going to tell stories on TikTok and pretend like it's a real podcast. God, it's so good. And so I just looked off camera literally to a wall or i would like put like a Ooh. like a like a what what's what do you clean the floors with a mop uh, <laughs> a broom a broom the, the broom. Uh-huh. broom yeah a broom and i just talked to the broom mind. and i posted on tiktok and it just kept growing and growing to the point where people were looking for the full length versions of just me talking and then 
we started that. And Were you only making TikToks then at that time? Only TikToks. Mm. So it was like so big podcasts. Yeah. But to be fair, out of like, I'd say 90% of them, he was looking at no one, but there were a few where I was in the background yeah. before I was like ever, both of us, yeah. and I was just like chilling with him, just like helping, just hanging with him that day. Yeah. And he'd be looking at me talking. But wow. no, he. So genius. you would just sit there patiently? Yeah. So quick question. So when you're telling the stories, obviously you cut them and they're so fast paced and good, mm -hmm. but. Are you redoing lines? Are you like, oh, I don't think that hit? Or like, you're just telling the story and then cut it later? There will be times where like, I'll go back in the edit and be like, I, I, if I would have said this differently, this joke would have hit harder. So I'll just like get back in the same clothes, set up the lights again and just say that one line again or whatever. Or I'll send it to Cam. Like before he was on camera, I would send the final edit to Cam and he'd be like, nah, that's not funny enough. You got to say it like that. So Cam has always been involved in wow. everything. Mm -hmm. And just kind of like a behind the scenes dude. And uh, yeah, so I just ducked off. Yeah. yeah. Your, your storytelling too is, it felt like stand up com comedy. Oh, thank like you. Like the way that, and I was like, oh, he's really good at telling these stories. So you just said earlier, you're like, I didn't think I was funny. Then what made you feel willing enough to get in front of a camera? I, I honestly don't know. Just like I really loved content creation. It's a great question. Cause I don't, I was trying to think of the answer in my head. And I was like, damn, what did make him like, I don't, cause I like, I remember it pivot obviously but i don't remember like because he he was not a fan of tiktok a tiktok when oh, it came not out, at, like, all. at all he I was like TikTok. he was like oh i hate it i'm never gonna get that app and i was just like Sh all right i was like you could do something with it yeah and then he finally did but but yeah i've always been into content creation like even in sixth grade i would make little youtube videos and i would like um do like i basically just bite shane dawson stuff and like make skits and like really just remake his videos <laughs> and i went to the mall and i would like screen print like merch and just wear it around my middle school until I got <laughs> bullied enough to take it off. Yeah. Um, so I would always just that's you know, hard. Do that. Who's yeah. bullying you, man? You're <laughs> probably sick. Oh, oh no, no, I wasn't no. always like this. child. Him was a I was a nasty was a, man, a little rodent. Like, yeah, oh, it was, I had it was a, I had a tail. I had like a what do you mean a tail? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. I had a tail. Like, you, remember, you remember that like maybe twelve ish years ago around there, like the little clip on tail. What? Yeah. You're weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> my my hair my hair was like down to here. No, he had lo like Troy Paul and Malu, long ass hair, tail, didn't smell good still. <laughs> All right. So okay. we just All right. We just left that part out, but <laughs> thank you. Obliterating oh, oh, him oh. right now. It was pre it was pre braces. Oh no, was, my teeth were like gang signs. It was <laughs> real bad. Yeah, were just you like, tall? Uh like for I your was age? I really didn't hit a growth spurt until like high Dude, school. That was me too. Oh, I didn't so I didn't I get like taller, taller than everyone until like uh, summer going into sophomore year. Yeah. So That's when, when did I, you start uh, playing? When did both of you start playing sports? I always been in sports. Yeah. Like since we, yeah, you know, been able to. You yeah. wore your tail to practice? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom wasn't having it. Oh, take that'd be shit sick. Off. That'd be sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Running down the court, you hit a Naruto run down the court. <laughs> tail. Oh, oh my god. god. That'd so be how? Bad. So how much of, for both of you guys was like? Oh, I'm playing basketball to maybe get to as far as I can go. To then being like, what do I do with my life? So me, I, I always love that question because I always take it as a quick opportunity to tell like anybody listening, like there's 450 players in the NBA. Like don't <laughs> chase your dreams. But I was always mature. Like as a kid, I was like, dude, basketball is a means to an end for me. Like I'm going to get a free education. It's going to be a huge kind of gift back to my parents because they bought all the shoes and paid the tournament fees and all that stuff. So I was like, I'm going to go as far as I can get a free degree out of this. But like I never truly wanted to go. I mean, I had I had three little like offers to go play overseas, but I already had a fiance at the time. I was like, dude, I don't like and some of the they don't pay a lot. So I was just like, I love basketball. I truly do. It brought me best friend, wife, all this experiences. But I was like, I never once was like, dude, I'm going to the NBA. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. I was like, hell no. I'm gonna go play as far as I can, then uh -huh. that's it. What was your career path then that you so, were oh, originally yeah. doing? So basically, I got my uh, I have my bachelor's in marketing, uh -huh. and I'm like three classes away. I'll finish them this summer. Uh, you know, I have my master's and just MBA, and so I was going to be originally a FA, just financial advisor. I've always been good with money. Like I like, hey, you can invest in this, do that. So I want to just tell other people how to use their money. And then I shifted from that. I was going to be a medical device salesman. Had like a, a whole little like a link, like a little plug into this company, and everything back at home, and it was it was going to be great. And then I don't know where the hell this came from. Senior year, my spring break, I went back home and I was just thinking, and I was like, I got to get away from everyone. And I was like, dude, I was like, I don't want to start a marriage, leaving four days of the week, like doing medical device sales. And so I just randomly became a teacher. What? You're a teacher? <laughs> what? Yeah, they're like, what? Yeah. That was a curveball. curveball of the century. Are you yeah. still teach? Yeah. 
You still teach and you do the podcast and everything like that? Yeah. Do your kids all know you? Yeah. What grade? Like every single high school. High school? High Which school. is like our main demographic too. Yeah. So, Whoa. so ev- I mean, every day. Does and that so factor I co- into I like what you talk about though? Like you got to like watch out for like your, your students. Bit, like, see, it's it's getting to the point where. So the one thing I'll say about teaching is like if this is the one job where it's like that whole job is like your life essentially, and it's really not fair because you can get judged for anything you do outside, outside of the classroom simply because you have that status as a teacher. So I I don't really like that part, but. Out of simple, just like I guess, manners and not wanting to cause any emotion. Like I, I don't say too much crazy stuff. Like, but on the Patreon and stuff like that, like we can get loose there. Oh, the and Patreon's but, great. Uh, on the actual pod, I, I mean, I let stuff slip here and there, but and so it's, it's best believe as soon as one one word slips, next day, oh, Coach Kennedy, this this is you cussing. You tell us not to cuss, huh? Yeah. I'm just like, and I literally want to be like, just shut the fuck down. Just like, like, just go sit down. But you just tower over yeah. there. Yeah. Just make him go run laps yeah. real quick. Yeah. So, so if the fork comes in the road, right, this is obviously taking off. What are you picking? Yeah. This, for sure, 100%. Like, yeah. it's, not, it's not even a secret. I mean, my students. Fuck those kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, the great words, in the great words of Michael Someone John. Has to say it. Uh, no, for sure, though, because we're, we're, already, we're already on, like, a pretty good uh, trajectory in terms of what we're doing and making and, like, plans that are – set in stone and whatnot so i mean it, i think it's just a matter of time to be honest so you you own your own business you were like pushing like a studio oh, damn you're real uh, good this is the asian yeah. nard war yeah, yeah. Nard real war. good yeah war. uh so around the time that i started doing the fake podcast looking off camera um because i had dropped out of college and stopped playing basketball so i was like i'm just going balls to the wall trying to figure this content stuff out um, Wait, I, real quick, when did you know you're like I don't care about basketball anymore? I, it's content that I care about. Um, I've always knew there was like basketball was gonna end. I just didn't know when. Um, uh, but it was around my sophomore year of college. That's what I was about to say. Like from the first game, I was like, okay, this is my last year playing. I don't know. Like it wasn't just like something happened. It's kind of like I knew. I, I also think it was the fact that you knew you were in junior college. So like yeah. once that second year ended, so JUCO or like community yeah. college, like two year two year college. I think you knew like subconsciously, all right, well, as soon as this year ends, I did it here. Like instead of going to the next stage, like yeah. I'm going to just stop. Yeah. And it was just like, I, I, I'm not, a, I'm not good at school. Like obviously if you watch a podcast, you know, I'm not the smartest guy around, <laughs> but um, like I probably wouldn't have gotten to college if it wasn't for basketball. But um, yeah, around the time I was doing the fake podcast, um, I was thinking like if there's a hole in the business or like, especially in Dallas where there's a lot of content creators, but they don't have the knowledge or the capital or the access to make the content. So I was like, let me just open up a rental studio that has a podcasting studio, photography studio, and just like a whatever you want to do studio. And I uh, opened that up and it was doing pretty well. And then it got to the point where the podcast got too big mm. to where like fans would start showing up and there's like a security issue. So now it's I, we don't yeah. really do that anymore. Yeah. What's the craziest story about a fan? <laughs> I would I mean initially like without too much thought I I would just say the state fair like that shit was bad. Oh yeah, you tell that one. Like I got just one I mean this so the state fair of Texas like I don't know how California's is but it's just like it's just really big. Like it's at a it's a football stadium. We went the day that Texas played OU, huge rivalry. There's literally like hundreds of thousands of people there, okay? The second we walk through the gate, like immediately there's just people asking for pictures and stuff. And we love that. Like we'll, we tell, we say it every episode. We're like, don't be afraid. What it like, we're just regular ass dudes. Like we'll always love to hang out and talk and take pictures. But then it was just the point where it was like, like hands would just start being on our neck and shit. And I'm just like, all right, like don't it's one me. thing to be like, hey, going up like this, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> climbing them, like, like their yeah. structures. And then this, and then this one super inebriated mom was just like, y'all are in the NBA, right? And we were like, no, she's like, yeah, you are. And we were just like, uh, get away. So it's, yeah. it was just, uh, it wasn't like a necessarily one, it was just a whole day of just crazy shit. Just I mean, like people being really touchy, which again, no one was like, trying to be disrespectful with it but yeah. it was just like uh, and the second that someone sees one person do it everyone thinks it's okay oh, shit. oh yeah i mean i got put in a headlock yeah, yeah. yeah. i was about to say that's yeah. Me. Yeah. i was walking into a club and I, like there was a lot of people like that were uh, noticing me because i was with people that are way bigger but uh-huh. they were noticing me and like taking pictures and then once he saw 
people were taking pictures with me. He just like locked in on his phone trying to figure out who I was. And then he figured it out. And he goes, he was very drunk, like real bad to the point like his friends should have picked him up. Um, he was like, dude, you're the guy from TikTok. And I was like, I am. And he goes, I love you, man. And he starts putting me in a headlock. And he goes, dude, come on, man. Let's just do this picture one time, dude. And I was like, all right, bro, just <laughs> let go of my neck. I took the picture with him. He was it's really like, nice. You're guy. asking for a you have me in a half Nelson. Like, yeah. Get off the photo. He's like, yeah. I, like I like the white the white boy accent he put on. That was <laughs> nice. That was nice. <laughs> Wait, who's better at basketball? <laughs> oh god, we get this so be honest. Easy, easy be honest. I'm gonna be completely honest. All right. Both in our primes, we're two very different players, both very valuable. So he does all the dirty shit. Like he'll rebound, he'll guard anybody. I'm just more like Skilled and finesse on offense. He's a white guy. Like, I can shoot, shoot, the the shoot the piss <laughs> and, out of the ball. NBA comparisons, but like Scalabrain. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kyle it's, Korver. It's, it's crazy because, yeah, like, on, I mean, honestly, like, my whole, when I went to the next stage of, of uh, like, a university, it was literally, I just went to the mid post, took care of mismatches, and then just shot threes. Like, damn. That's. Oh, did. Do you guys remember that video where people were trash talking Scalabrine? So he like yeah. played one on one against that kid's like, shoes. Yeah, and I'm like thrashed him. Yeah, I'm like, how would you ever think you could beat an NBA no, that's, player? No, that's that. Like, people is a dog. People yeah. don't understand that. Like Dwight Howard could dead ass walk into like a local high school and beat any kid in like a three point contest. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> and it's Dwight Howard, and you're like, he can't shoot at all. And it's like, okay, you they, can't they, shoot they against don't, they don't, other NBA yeah, players. They don't. They don't, they don't understand like what yeah. the NBA is like. They they truly don't. Damn, 450 spots. That puts it into into context, yeah. yeah. You're never going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just you give up now. Here first. And Go really, to college. Really, it's only the, the what, no, 10, 10 men on the roster that really, really Yeah, matter. I was about to say, yeah. you, got, you got, there's 450, but then, I mean, legit, there's teams that have, like, nine guy rotations, yeah. and that's, like, yeah. it. Like so. a twelfth a twelfth man on an NBA team really brings nothing. Oh no! Like no. someone's gonna have Dude. to get hurt. Someone else is Some's, gonna have to like foul out. Some like for them yeah. to get. Yeah. So, some some NBA guy is gonna beat me up after. I, <laughs> oh, I got a question. Do you think that short? So like I feel like Chris Paul is the last, or Isaiah Thomas was the last person that was like five ten to be able to make it to the NBA. Do you think that it's done for people under six feet or six <laughs> one? So I don't know your take on it because we've never talked about that. Good question. I. I don't think it's done. I just think the NBA is evolving to where like enormous people are now be like Luca is a point guard, six seven. Like Paulo for the Magic. I mean he's a three, he's a small forward, but he's doing everything on the court. He's like six eight, six nine. So I just think it's it's just hard to hide those guys on defense. Like yeah. no matter how good you are at basketball, it's hard to when you have to go guard somebody. Yeah. yeah. Like that's have y'all have y'all seen uh Women Yama? Yeah, oh yeah. Dude insane he's he's a freak and yeah, but the thing the thing that irks me about that is not enough people put respect on bull bull and they're like bull bull was yeah. women yama before literally women before yama. Women yama. yeah like they're the same wait what do you think short people are if you're short just give up now like don't even <laughs> don't even try to play just don't waste your time pick something else that's what i was you heard it here first get on Basically. a podcast yeah, buy yeah, some yeah, mics yeah, get yeah. a camera no, don't do podcasts we got too many of those we don't want more competition <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we need get drummers. into accounting <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Electrician, yeah. please go, go get your HVAC yeah. certification. <laughs> go do some plumbing. But let's uh, let's get into the questions. Yeah, yeah so we we yeah. We, per we prepared like a lot of discussion style topics. Okay, uh, oh, yeah. since y'all are experts at discussion. Okay, yeah. Um, discuss. I did have one more question. So you 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 seem you said you have a lot of connections, right? And like creators in Dallas and stuff. Yes. Who's like the favorite influencer that you've ever met? Um. Oh, that's a good question. But I would say. I don't know about favorite, but uh, Mark Phillips say, yeah. from RDC World. I don't know if y'all have seen him. He makes all the skits. Mm -hmm. um, I love RDC World. I met him at, a, I think, DreamCon. That, okay. that was their thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we found out that we were basically family. Um, his brother literally taught me basketball and been around me since I was like four years old. What? And then we just reconnected one day at a gym. And I just came up to him as a fan. I was like, hey, uh, I'm Peyton. I'm a big fan of your, your work. And he goes, oh, thanks, man. And then I kind of stalked him for like two or three more times in the gym. And on the third time, it was before I even put out a podcast. I was like, hey, dude, I'm starting this podcast. Do you want to come on? He has three million subscribers on YouTube and I have 43 at the time. <laughs> so for some reason he said yeah and he gave me his number uh we figured out a date and right before we shot we were just talking you know the little small talk you do before shooting and i was like hey uh yeah i just i'm about to get armani brooks who's an nba player on the podcast he goes oh armani is my uh my nephew and then we just found out that 
we've been around each other our whole lives and now Mark Phillips is like family. So yeah, yeah. Whoa, it's, it's crazy. crazy. You know what I noticed about you though? It's, it seems like you will go to no ends to make a connection or just shoot your shot. Yeah. So where does that like, I mean, with no fear, you said you're scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am. Contradicting I'm, story. <laughs> no, I'm scared of everything, but I know without the podcast, like I literally am like homeless. Like I have nothing. <laughs> so it's like I have to, but also connections. I don't try to force connections either. I think the best connections come from being like a genuine person and forming yeah. something real. And like, you know, I did ask Mark for something, but the first two times I came up to him, I was just like giving him praise and just saying I'm a fan. But that goes with everything. I've yeah. just a love bomb them first. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just smoke grenades of love. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. So like, oh, I like that guy. He's yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He doesn't ask me for it. anything yet. Yeah. What a good guy. <laughs> the next time it's like, hey, do this for me. <laughs> By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste now back to whatever the hell they're talking about what's the biggest red flag you've ignored in a friend in a friend so a platonic relationship a platonic <sighs> relationship red flag he seems so excited to tell oh his my story God. get the hell off me. <laughs> <laughs> what you, you can't hear i'll go because you're like having a shutdown right now like a windows update um <laughs> I would say in a fr are we talking about opposite sex or like no no any any, any friend any friend I'd say probably your boy though I'd say <laughs> a huge red flag that not enough people see is if your friend is not excited when you're when you have something going for yourself or if you're not if you're doing something good and they're not excited and they're hating on it then huge red flag big one big huge one. Red really flag. huge red flag one, so do you have a personal experience oh I mean not I mean just petty stuff not like real yeah, life stuff yeah. but like. Seventh grade basketball stuff like that. Like if if one friend makes this team, the other one doesn't, and they're just like hating on you. But we're supposed to be boys and locked in. It's like, but no, but that's what I'm saying. That shit doesn't really care. But like in real life, real moves that are happening, and if they're like not there for you, like cheering, then that's sick. That's so. such a good one. Actually. He got married. He was in the corner. <laughs> yeah, he's like this best. Whatever. She, she doesn't really yeah. like you, yeah. dude. Yeah, Come like, on. It's like it will last two years. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, I've been here 15. Like you just gonna leave me like that. <laughs> The preacher asked, like, yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> I forgot what he asked. Uh, What's like, the thing do you where object like, or uh, is I, there yeah, do you object it's or something? whatever? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, running it through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? What were you yeah, gonna what? say? Yeah, you looked. No, like you exploded. Well, I thought because you knew where I. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> you know what I, no, we're gonna pay the way. We're real quick. We'll see how close you are. We're gonna pay the telepathic game. I'm thinking. Ooh. No, no. You think of a word, a simple one. Okay. And you could give them like an area, like a fruit. You just think of a fruit, and on the count of three, you guys say the same fruit at the same time. Hold on, you, hold on. I got think of my fruits. No, 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 no. no, no. no. He's, he's thinking, thinking of what fruit he's thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I know, thinking. but I don't know the fruits. Look right here. All right, here we go. I don't know the fruits. The ones with the seeds, right? <laughs> just look right here. Yes, fruits have seeds right okay. here. Okay. I don't like. On looking the count here. of three, you're gonna say the same fruit on the same time. One, two, three. Pineapple dragon fruit. <laughs> you you really chose a dragon fruit out of all yeah, the fruits. I don't know. I was thinking of ones with run, seeds. Run Let's cool Sim, one more time. Dumb it. Okay. Right. Like okay. Walmart. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. They probably do sell those there. Keep staring. Okay. Tell me when you got it. Uh, oh, I need like three more seconds. Okay. I'm so sorry. One, okay. two, three. Blueberries. You said well, that was said a pear. <laughs> pear. You said dumb it down. I said pear. You go blueberries. Blueberries. I'm allergic to blueberries. When's the last time you, you when is the me? last time you've Wait, purchased I, a can pear? I, can I do this with Jeremy? Yes, go. Here. Okay, I'm gonna count down. Ready? Fruit? Wait, who's who's the uh, one? Wait, wait, no, we can't pick a fruit anymore. Different, different topic. Uh, Fast food restaurant. Favorite Ready? sex position. <laughs> <laughs> no, never, stop done, it. never done that before. <laughs> he doesn't even have sex. You're yeah. making him uncomfortable. Yeah. 
that? Say sorry. Wait, 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 wait what is it? Fast food restaurant. And okay. you're going to think of it. You're guessing what he's thinking of. He's All right? Okay. Wait. Right. Hey, you need the mic, Miss oh, yeah, Man. Sorry. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. McDonald's. Chick-fil-A. You. That, that's a perfect answer, Jay. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. That's a perfect Superior. answer. Superior. I would have got that. <laughs> I knew okay. that. Well, number, one, no, number one fast food restaurant. Oh, I like ooh, I like In and Out better. Oh, you guys, guys say the same time. Are you guys have the same one? You guys have the same one. Water burger. If you, uh, ha- I understand it's not over here in the, in the in the West Coast, but I've had Water Burger. I've had it. Sweet where man. where in this that, in this, Texas? What would you get? Uh, the 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 patty <laughs> melt thing, the Texas toast and stuff like that. And you didn't, and you like, didn't it? like it? It was good. <laughs> it was good. But to say that it's the best, it's definitely better the than In and Out. It's definitely better than In and Out. Better than In and Out. It's, it's a little yes. kids burger, one little flippy little patty in there. Yes. Yeah, you get the soggy double double. Ass. What are you, what you talking about? Double double means two of everything. Un, unsalted fries. This is why you're five eight and they're six seven. <laughs> you gotta be eating water burger. I should some more water burger. Sweet and spicy bacon burger, large fries, large diet coke with 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 a little spicy ketchup. Oh, they do have the nice spicy. Honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. Take off the honey barbecue. Replace with honey butter, large fries, Powerade, no ice. What? Powerade, no ice? I've never... Did you just do this? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. So so your story about the number one sign of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, We skipped over that part. You never said it, guy. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, it was the same thing. But I thought you thought you knew what I was talking about. I'm saying, are are you saying like a personal one? Oh 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 oh! Okay, yeah, okay. there we go. Yeah, I know it now. Okay, but just if like, so, it's the same thing, but it actually happened in a real scenario for him, not seventh grade basketball. Like yeah. That. Oh. So when I opened up the studio, do I say this? I don't know. Oh God! God. A, Maybe make you, it vague. You just you, make, you, it, make super it super vague, vague like super. ten words, and just okay. Or right. replace like the people's names. And when stuff. I started a farm, ah, that'll still, that'll still give it away. That'll still give it away. No, when I opened up the studio, and it's in a very nice. You know, it's a nice studio. It's a nice office building. And my friend walked in. My friend walked in. And the first thing he said was like, wow, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I spent a lot of money on it. Uh, so, yeah. Poor <laughs> was trying not to laugh at his point. Are you guys still friends or no? We're cordial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would be hella tight. Uh, I spent all my money. and like, don't you like it? I designed it myself. <laughs> Damn, this shit ugly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what Brando would say. <laughs> yeah, that's how Brando treats me, basically. <laughs> I told him the name of my company, and he just he just looked at me like, "Ew, like what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> he likes it now that he he approves. I had to I had to give well, him like a three hour spiel. No, uh, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to bring it up yet, uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. You have another company. We're not gonna talk about. it. Nobody tells say? me anything. <laughs> but uh, is this but something it, we talked about? Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, we, I mean, it's not a secret. Now you guys have made a weird. Hey, you keep mic. trying to move on. Yeah, you guys <laughs> yeah, keep bringing it back. <laughs> like, what, are what are you doing? I just don't like. It's not that I'm hiding anything. I don't like talking about Jesus things until they're fully concrete. <laughs> it's a, it's a like, good practice. Yeah, exactly. hey, what's going on over there? Sorry, this man's over here, double fist and white knuckling the mic. Like, calm down. <laughs> just sitting here, like just. <laughs> Like take a handle. You know what's funny? After I learned that trait about you, is you don't look like that at all. Yeah, what do you no. mean? Like, like you don't nervous. look like you would have any nervous like. Oh, uh, yeah, no, y'all don't, you don't even like. <laughs> like like, we're, like he, arms right now, bro. Oh yeah, it'd be a different color shirt. Go like this. Oh, okay. That's well. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you good? You good? You good? No, I don't see anything at all. Yeah. Do you get super nervous on like first dates or? Well, I really d- tend to not have those. <laughs> um, <laughs> But when I do, oh yeah, yeah, it's real bad, real bad half the time. I watched the one where you were at a hibachi. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, explain. Tell the hibachi story. So it was like when I got my, I was like 16, got my first job. I was a pool monitor, but I don't know how to swim. But it's, you know, whatever. But it's like, who hired you? Why? Why did they do yeah, it? Whoever hired you needs to be fired. What the fuck? Um, an investigation. I so I was getting good money. I had like a 2017, not 2017, 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Didn't have AC. The seat belts didn't work. The locks didn't work. Windows didn't work. Real bad car. Um, but I had money and I saved it up because there was this girl that I really liked and I thought she liked me. Wait, how old are you, how old are you at the time? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Listen. Yeah. yeah so. Sorry. Uh, I was like, I want to take her on a real nice date. And hibachi, at the time, you know, real nice date. They do the whole show, dinner thing. I was like, show. A little onion train going through. Yeah, you don't even have to entertain her. They got you. Yeah, exactly. We we enjoy this together. (laughs) Uh, Hey, that's low effort. (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) I showed up to the hibachi date because I was nervous and I was excited. And I just wanted to get there early. And I texted her. I was like, hey, I'm here. 
And she was like, oh, I'll be there in a little bit, whatever. And she kind of kept putting it off. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go to the table. And if you know, hibachi tables are kind of like built like this, like a little U. And then, yeah. yeah, and then the dude's in the middle or, or woman or whoever is in the middle doing the show with the, with the things. <laughs> and so I just sat down. The dude came out with the trolley and he was like, just you? And I was like, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, give her a minute. She's on the way like time t- just passes by and he's like look bro i gotta do the show or like <laughs> you know what I mean? and so i was like you know what she'll show up in a little bit start the show <laughs> she never shows up and he <laughs> starts doing the whole show and i was fine i was enjoying it you know what i mean i was just like you know what whatever i'm enjoy the hibachi show yeah, you already accepted it at yeah this point. yeah but it got weird when he looked at me in my eyes and he was like open your mouth <laughs> <laughs> i was like, I was like uh, all right uh, well, I had to. I had He's to like, go I'm, out uh, I'm game. Yeah, I had to go. Out, I'm already here alone. He's been doing the show for ten minutes. Already so been stood like, up. Whatever. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just swinging shit into my mouth. And I'm just like, I'm actively trying to catch it too. I'm, yeah, that's the, that's, <laughs> and then so I was like, all right, it wasn't that bad. And then he pulls out that this like ketchup bottle or something. It was like a clear ketchup. I don't know what kind of liquid it was in. And he starts shaking it like right by his ear. And he, again, he goes open your mouth <laughs> so I was like all right and I opened my mouth and he just he's just squirting this this liquid into my mouth and then I was like whatever at least no one saw this my date wasn't here and I look over and there's like this group of cheerleaders on their phones recording me the whole time um, <laughs> he's sitting there like a damn walrus trying to catch the water this like, is like a nightmare high oh, school yeah. story what no. the fuck yeah. hey, did, did the hibachi chef ghost you afterwards what, what does the rule say if he loves you water from 8 feet he loves you cares about you if it's 10 feet or more he's, he's leaving you finished in your what mouth what happened with that girl after that Oh, no, oh, we God. never spoke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Just letting you guys know, hibachi is code word for porno. So, oh. <laughs> Real quick, hey, as a woman, why do, why do girls do that? Like, 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 why do girls set up a date and then not show up on it? Oh, I, yeah. I would never do that. I know, but what do you I think as never. a... What about your friend? I'm the one asking the guys on the date, so... But what do you but think from a woman's mind, yeah. yeah. Do that, yeah. Um, I don't know. They weren't raised right. What else? Can I say about that? That's a good one. Is yeah, it like, like you I think, think it's, it could be it's just rude? Yeah, it's no, it, no, rude. it's definitely rude. There's it's no more question. than rude. It's is disrespectful. It like, is it like nerves or <laughs> where they? I think some girls enjoy the chase just like men do. I think oh. they want the chase of like, oh, I like this guy. He's liking me, and, and then whenever they then get him, they're like, that's just messed up. That's no, it is. Up. It's horrible. Yeah, you telling me, huh? Yeah. Especially to go to the restaurant alone. Like that's some fucked up shit. Yeah, and especially because she said, "I'll be there, right?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, if, if there's someone out there that is watching this that was there filming him, send us that. Post Please the send. video. Somewhere. Dude, we we said we said that. Uh, when do we on the podcast? I'm saying, but that was like probably a month and a half ago, probably yeah. like six episodes ago. We said that and we were like, dude, if anybody. <laughs> from that area, please God, I find a way to send it to us. Like, oh, I'm calling the police. That would go. <laughs> that goes straight to Patreon. Oh my God. That'd be the funniest video. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> well then, okay. Well, this was a this was a part two of the previous question, but um, so on the red flags thing is, do you think there's any red flags worth ignoring, like standing you up for a hibachi date? Oh, someone. So you're saying worth ignoring, as in like even though they like presented this red flag, I still want to see past it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it another chance, maybe three times or so. Wait, so I'm this assuming is this is relationship now, not friendship. either either or. I it think. could be anything. Yeah, yeah. Whatever comes to mind. I mean, I definitely advise all of you to not ignore the. Like that if thing. you're not happy, yeah. The first one yeah, we you said, pointed at him. but you could yeah. no. I'm, is it I was saying he likes like cucumber Gatorade. No, that shit is oh. sick. Don't even. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Red flag. Yeah, it's huge red flag. <laughs> it's, it's a, a red hydrating beverage. Banner. You ever tried it? Cucumber Gatorade. I, I actually like you. It's delicious. Oh, oh, smart people here, huh? <laughs> yeah. mm. smart Sorry. People. I, pr- I prefer mandarin and Asian pear and passion fruit, orange guava. Oh, uh, I like. I like him. <laughs> yeah, that's. We're me. dropping your cucumber flavor. We'll send you some. Oh my god. That case will go straight to him. Straight to this bitch. No, but uh. I'd say if they're like little petty ones, you could ignore them. Like, I mean, but to deem it a red flag, it's pro- it's obviously not that little, not that petty. Mm-hmm. But I would say if it's just some stupid shit that it's like, oh, they, well, I can't even think of one, but just like something that's so minuscule to like your overall goal of the relationship, I'd say you can look past it. Like, like, like but if being it's shit, late if it's, all the if time? It, yeah, if oh. it's yeah. like someone's not punctual, like they're always 10 minutes late and like that might be your biggest pet peeve, but it's like, are they still showing up? 
they're yeah. still showing up. They still have their best, you know, your yeah, best they take interest. their time to get ready. They look good for you. You know, they, yeah. they, they do yeah. all the work they got to do. Yeah. Would you say that's a red flag, though, being late all the time? No, I don't uh, think so. I think it's wonderful, actually. I what? think, no, I think oh, if you, up. if you don't, if you, yeah, if it, yeah. well, yeah, late, late, but <laughs> no, he's not late all the time. I'm, I'm not, not, really not. He's a punctual person. Usually. I, I, try, I, I would I say punctuality is very important. Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like it's a respect thing. It really is. But that's, like, that's, that's what I was worried about on the drive over here is like, damn, like it looks like I just disrespected them. Like, Cause <laughs> no. I hate, I hate it when people play with my time. So I try not to do it, mm-hmm. but yeah. I was just in the shower and I woke up and I was like, the whole time I was getting ready. I'm like, in my head, I'm just like. <laughs> See, and Frick, I, I'm not the nice he yeah. censored himself good, yeah. but I'm also not the type of person who's like, I'm gonna be there 35 minutes early for what? Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show early. about five, ten minutes early, and it's gonna be fine. Like, I feel yeah. like being early is more disrespectful. Oh my god, it's like you oh, wanted to get there before me. <laughs> yeah. You think you're better you're than me? You're gonna show me up? <laughs> Wait, what? what? Okay, what time? Hold on, we'll, we'll piggyback this because I'm gonna ask them. Get because your thumb out of my face. I'm ask them for you. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all had, let's just say this is Long do. Arms. Let's, yeah. do <laughs> let's do simple numbers. The four of you, uh-huh. you're on a you're on a group flight. Uh-huh. It's leaving mm, at it's leaving at it's leaving at noon. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're all in one car. You all got to go through checking all that stuff. It's your plane. Your plane's leaving at noon. What time do you show up to the airport? At least 10, by 10 11. Yeah. No, it's 10. domestic, right? Yeah. 11. Uh, 10 a.m. always. I have TSA pre-check. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got TSA oh, pre-check. Also, you know, I tried to sign up for that, and 10. I'm not allowed. So you are being immigrationist right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't, you get a, why don't you get a citizenship? Ooh, I walk <laughs> I'm trying my best. Why don't you stop sleeping around with women and marry I'm one of them? I'm trying my best. Yeah? I'm trying to marry you. <laughs> I just I walk in the airport and say my name's Jeremy. Get the hell out of my way, <laughs> bro. I, so I so you say tried. ten. Ten a.m. I would say ten. Ten, I, ten, I do ten. Two hours before. Okay, so all three of them say ten. What do you do? You two just hours. you just have to sacrifice no. an hour of sleep, or do you drive your own car because you have TSA pre-check? No, no, no. I would. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. you have and papers. The majority group and it's one car. You said one car. One car. Era. Yeah, then I would just get a bro. good man. Good he man. just let us fly economy. He takes his private jet. Yeah, yeah. He gets on the PJ. He gets on the Gulfstream. Y'all are flying Spirit. Uh, wait, do you guys agree with each other or? So he, the, okay, like him, his entire family, every, everyone in my family is like, get there like two, two and a half hours. You never know what could happen. I'm like, yep. yes. geez, I'm like, I don't want to be sitting in an airport for an hour and a half before I can even get on my plane. I'm like, I'm going to get there an hour and a half before, mm-hmm. like finding my terminal, getting through everything, whatever. I might have like 30 minutes to chill before I get on the plane. And it's just like, that's fine. Yeah. Watch some YouTube, go get Starbucks, whatever you're on the plane. Boom. But it's like, I'll be damned if I'm sitting there just waiting for like two hours. I agree. Why it's, would it's, you it's, call it's me dumb. out? Yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys no, no, I would agree with you. Though. You have what? Lounge access. <laughs> Come the, on, dog. No. The lounge makes it so much better, though. Like, like, it does? Yeah, because it's free food. And we we actually, we, we were just talking about that today. When we yeah. got off, we were like, damn, I want to see what's behind that lounge. I see a little chandelier what back there. Delta <laughs> Sky Club or whatever. You could also like pay for the one-time visit to the lounge. Which you could make it worth it if you eat a shit ton and drink all their <laughs> alcohol. But mm-hmm. like, yeah. Wait, real Wait. quick. Oh. How shitty are planes for you guys? Oh my god! So <laughs> this morning, bro. This morning was awful. I'm still sore. And we yeah. and the, the craziest part is, so we had a seat. So I had window. He had aisle. No one in between. You us. choose window, even though you're that tall. Didn't choose it. Like we just oh. got. I, we just chose to be in the same row, <clears throat> which obviously was a shit decision. But basically, it was such an early flight that like. We both ended up having a whole row to ourselves. Oh. But the fact that you can't put your legs up on the seat, it did nothing for us. Because yeah. like no matter which way we sit, our knees are still jammed into the back of the person in front of us. So it still was miserable. <laughs> and like I literally yeah. would fall asleep like this for like 10 minutes. I'd fall asleep on the window for 10 minutes. It was just awful. Like it's you can't get comfy. Yeah, and my stewardess, because I was trying I tried to do the lay down thing where my head was towards the aisle, my <laughs> feet towards the window. <laughs> and she came by and she like pushed the back of my neck <laughs> and she was like, out of the aisle, please sit up, sit up. And I was like, all right. I, was like, so, I hate when they touch I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, get your paws off me. <laughs> Sometimes in the aisle, I like stretch my legs out into the aisle and I like leave it there if yeah. I'm asleep and then they'll come move my leg. And yeah. I'm like, that's so rude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Yeah. yeah. And it's like the she went out of her way to tell us that we could like have our own row, but then she still didn't let him be comfortable. So I'm like, why did you even that's, do that? That's the worst. No, it sucked. It's awful. But the greatest thing ever on, um, I mean, I guess they're on any planes, but on Southwest, if you get the emergency exit seat, mm. Boy, it's like heaven on earth. It's like first class without being first class. Because oh, you can just stretch your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I'll tell you something. So one of my my co-founder, he used to fly a lot for his previous job. So he just stuck to one airline because he lived in Philly, and there was one airport that he could fly out to the best, basically the rest of the U.S. 
So now he has the highest uh, version of, of American Airlines priority. So he buys a regular plane ticket and he gets bumped up to first 99.9% of the time. Oh. And here's the best part. When I book a ticket on his, if we both book regular tickets, I get bumped up to first class with That's him. And I don't sick. have that status. Damn. So if I were you, start just flying one airline. One airline. Yeah. Yeah. Just rack it up. And rack it up. And here's another thing. This, this sneaky little guy over here. <laughs> If you can, every person that works for an airline, whether they're a flight attendant or work for a corporate, they get one pass. It's a friends and family pass, and they can give it to you, and you get first class anywhere you want to go. So, for free, for free. For free. <sighs> so, so what you need to do is reach out to your millions of followers, find out who works for an airline and has that friend family pass. I do that shit tomorrow. And then yeah. here's the thing: offer them a little money. Six k a year for that is worth it. Free flights. Going to the Discord right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Has? Because there's a lot of people in the airlines that just don't use it too. So that's so true. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, free? It would, free. Free ninety nine. You, you fly you fly standby or Yeah. You get first class every time. Yeah. I'm oh. So here's the thing. When you oh. No 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 no. Oh. So I'm saying he can, he can only get uh, yeah, so you always so basically even more <laughs> even though you <laughs> even though you fly standby, you make it on the plane damn near every time. Okay. It's very rarely you don't. Yeah. Um well you were talking about sleep that, that sparked this next question. You guys ever had a sleep paralysis incident? Dude, that's crazy. We were just talking about that like two or three weeks ago. Yeah, I literally yeah. I've only had one and it was it was terrifying. Like it was awful. Like I was just felt like someone was coming after me. I was clearly awake, but I obviously wasn't. It was weird as shit. And I, all I remember is like trying to scream, live, live is my wife. Like I was literally screaming. I was like, live, Olivia, wake the fuck up. Like, <laughs> like, do something. And then I remember trying to like yeah. get my arm over. Dude, my arm felt like a million pounds. Like yes. it just would not move. Like I was trying to move it, couldn't move, couldn't talk. And it was just terrible. But the, cra- the thing about mine is like there wasn't like a demon or the little, uh, have, if you've heard the, uh, uh, the thing about the witch on your chest it's, or whatever that is, like I didn't have any. Of, there's, it's like another, I've had. A, I've had what's something that called? It's called a, a something pasta. Like the what the hell is happening? It's creepy creepy pasta. Creepy yeah. pasta. Yeah. Creepy pasta. It's like a myth and stuff like that, or something like a just like a tale. like an urban myth. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah. Urban. Okay. So there's one that's like if you're in sleep process, there's like a witch that like just crouches on your chest and she's like right in your. Yeah, see her. Like, like, like I had that one. Feels like that's the thing. That's it's terrifying. like it's a sleep paralysis demon or like an imp or a witch. Yeah. But straight up, I had one where I woke up and. I could see it looking at me, oh, choking no. me with two hands. Ooh, ooh, and I was no. just like, ah, like, no. And the same thing, I was trying to scream. I was like, help, yeah. help. How do you get that? How do you get it's that? It's terrifying. I have no clue. Dude, no I've, only, only, I've, only, had it, I've I, only had it once. I think what it is, it's like your brain half wakes up. So like you don't wake up the it's part almost, that controls your body, but you're, you're awake. But you're like, like cognitive. You're, yeah. You can hear and see the things happening in real time. So the only time it's happened to me, I was 12. And I woke up face first into my pillow. So now, oh. now I'm aware that oh, I can barely man. breathe. Oh. So I feel like I can't breathe. And then I tried to move. I can't move. <laughs> And I got hella scared. I'm like trying to scream for my brother, and it just sounds like, yeah. No, literally, like nothing comes. Yeah. You would be horrible in this scenario. That would be my like, last day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, oh, you, that. when you come out of it, and sometimes you somehow get your breath back, and you're fun, you're just like, what the hell was no, that? It's yeah. terrifying. I, I woke live up immediately. Yeah. Like, how, how did like, you guys I, get? How did you guys get out see, of it? it? As soon as he said that, I was like, I don't even remember like a. Like a awakening moment, it just like ended, and then I yeah. immediately was just like, uh. <laughs> I was like, yo, Wait the fuck I was like, I don't know what just happened. That shit was awful for me. What what happened was was I realized I could move my pinky like a little bit, so I like put all my energy into like wiggling my pinky, and then eventually I could move my hand, and then eventually I was like move my arm a little bit, and then and then I could scream, and I was like, Nick, Nick. <laughs> and then my brother eventually heard it. He comes, he's like, are you calling my name? And I'm like, please. <laughs> and, and like just wake me up, no. and then I made him like I'm like shake me, shake me, and he starts shaking me, and then eventually I got my feeling back because I shakes you. Like, woke <gasps> up, and yeah. I was just like trying to explain to him. He's like, "Are you okay? Like what the fuck?" I, was I started praying to God. I was like, "Please, oh, yeah. like Bro. this is the devil." I had a closet. You know one of those closets with like a mirror. Yeah, like oh, I, I couldn't, those. I couldn't move, and then when I could move and I got up, I saw like a dark figure just running. Oh, oh no. hell no! Yeah. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. No. When I, no. it felt like I couldn't see because I'm face down, but I felt like I felt uh, like a like a presence oh. behind me. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You're good. Yeah, I'm done. Did you feel like something? Gra- like so, I didn't. Like she said, she saw a black figure, and you saw the witch, or whatever. Like I didn't see anything, and I was just by myself. But like. In my mind, I felt like something was at the edge of the bed. 
Yes, exactly. Like, just by my feet, like about, like just kind of fucking with me, almost like. And you don't yeah. have a dog. I mean, that she's, <laughs> she's in her crate though. So I it's mean, like, it's it's very it's clearly horrible. that you're not just paralyzed. There's something in the room. It's That's more. What it feels I think like. it would. It's I don't like this. dude. You know, <laughs> you know. Uh, during during ayahuasca, it felt like you know that when I saw those beings in the room with me, mm. it was a very similar feeling where it was like, okay, now I can see them because like my pineal gland is open or whatever. But in the and then when you're dreaming, <laughs> you enter this like different dream dimension. And you're shit. now speaking another language to him. Okay. So basically, we we did we did this plant medicine ayahuasca. called ayahuasca, mm-hmm. and um, during it, I saw like otherworldly beings that were like in like it's like I left it's like dimension like reality change right, okay. but um that's what it felt like where I'm like there's something in this room, and I know in the real room it's not there, but in this room that I'm now in because I'm on ayahuasca I can see the thing now and it's like it was there the whole time I could just never sense him. And then that's what it feels like on sleep paralysis, where it's like because you're in this half sleep, you're like sensing things in another realm that exist in like your fake realm, but not in the real realm. So it's like, whoa. So is, is ayahuasca. So the, re- <laughs> the reason I even like I've never done anything like that, but the reason I know kind of semi like semi about is uh, Joe Rogan podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is ayahuasca close to DMT? Ayahuasca contains DMT, okay. but you ingest it versus smoking it, which yeah. goes it, like it's like a three hour trip versus like a 15 minute. So yeah, oh. ayahuasca is the natural version. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And gotcha. ayahuasca comes with a whole ceremony with yeah, like thousands to to, of years you have to go of to like sh- chakras and shamans and yeah. whatnot. And they like Shaman. like leaf fan you when you're yeah. doing. Like everyone does it differently. Uh, the one we went to uh, was in San Diego versus like a lot of people go to like the jungles of yeah. Peru. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's what I, I saw on the podcast. They were like going to Peru and stuff. They were there for like four days. Yeah, and literally, yeah, it's wild. It's life changing stuff. They, they all said. Um, I've heard. They said it feels like they immediately are like strapped to a rocket ship and just like ascend like and they're just like a little bit. Uh, well, you just get well, you just go into another world. But the whole time, but the whole time. Yeah, but the whole time, you know, you know who you are, yeah. where you Sounds are. About right. okay. People on the left and the right. That's yeah. what I'd be worried about. It's like yeah. I did, you haven't yeah, truly I, left reality. You haven't truly. Okay. It's. Your eyes are open and you're literally seeing things that are not oh. there. But you still know, mm. but you could still mm. be like But you know that it's like, oh, I am seeing this cuz of this. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. wet. Have you have you asked me? <laughs> what? No, I mean, like, my, like my body. Said, excuse me? <laughs> Turn not, not in a good way. Yeah, right? no, no. In a scared way. Have you guys heard that theory Maybe. that just like how since we have eyes, we can see the world, we have uh the sense of touch, we can touch things. Right. We're just missing one sense that isn't allowing us to see like another dimension. Exactly. Ooh. That's that's yeah. um that's I think what that's what the it feels like. It's like your your pineal gland. They call it your third eye, right? Yeah. And that's where the DMT is stored in your brain. So when you do ayahuasca or DMT and it flushes with DMT, you see these things and you you're seeing things that you can't see before, but you feel like this was just there the whole time. I just now have the sense to be able to recognize it. And my eyes, and it's like transmitting to your eyes that in like a way you. Do you guys name, believe in like um, the the school of thought that we're living right next to it, like another dimension that we just can't see? Oh, at like uh, like we like could all be sitting, stuff, like, yeah, like we yeah, could like, all I mean, be sitting here and have like ten ghosts surrounding us, like jerking off to us. Yeah, oh, okay. then, <laughs> I, I, that's why you're wet. See, I, I was, I, I, I was, I was, I was about to say we could be sitting here and like our grandparents here or something. He's talking oh. about ghosts jerking. Off. I'm like, <laughs> no, know, but that, that works too. He's yeah. like that too. Could be. Uh, I mean, it's it's weird. Like I, I think it's. I don't know. I think it's like naive to say just straight up. Oh no, like not at all. So. But I've never like I've definitely went down rabbit holes on YouTube and stuff and like just ended up holy shit I've been watching this stuff for four hours but yeah, definitely. I've never like kind of I guess had to place my opinion on it really but I would I mean I would say probably yeah, to yeah, be honest yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's some spooky business going on <laughs> there's definitely some spooky there's, there's there's got it I mean have you guys ever had like a paranormal incident in your lives? No, but every time I'm in a dark room, I say, y- you know, I see you, right? <laughs> <laughs> like every time. Every time. Do you just hear him like walking around yeah, your house? Like, you know, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're there. Like, <laughs> just in case. Okay, I'm not going to start because I'll, I'll go. Tell <laughs> yeah, no, tell us. You, okay, but first no, of all, y'all do that, right? No. no. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What do you mean? I, I do That's something similar. Do you sometimes. do it? No. Thank you. Vit? There's, I don't do that. Thank there's, you. There's right. been There's been times where... This was when I was younger and I was like scared of the dark and ghosts and oh, stuff. Oh, so like a small child. <laughs> yeah. Not a grown man. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. I would, um, when I would like shower, 
uh, I, instead of like just opening the thing, I would just punch, punch the, it. The, yeah, the yeah. shower, the shower curtain. And what are you gonna do, punching a ghost? Well, what kid, if it's man. a? Per- I'm not just saying ghost. It could be an intruder. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why every time I wake up, I open every door in my apartment. <laughs> I swear to God, I open every. I look. I told you, he clothes. wakes up every, in fear. Even, even if the intruder is like hiding behind the bed or something, he hears you say that. He's not gonna just leave. They, but oh, what? I got but, caught. But, 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 Thank but, you. <laughs> no, no. That's what. That's what I said. No, no. Oh, shit, you got me. I'll try again tomorrow. Like, oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Because you know why. Because you know why? Why? Because he, if he wanted to bombard and like know that he's there, he would have just broken the door. He's trying to be stealthy and hide. <laughs> if he's in your home, he does not care if you know he's there. Then why are you hiding? Dude? If you don't care if I know, why are you hiding? That's what I'm saying. I know you're hiding. You like might a, as well is come it out. a sick game of tag? Like you, 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 he's in my house. I don't know. <laughs> so he, he just has to obey your. He's already broken in. He has to obey you and just leave. Wait. So you 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 say you know I could see you and then he steps out. He's like, damn he's it. Like, yeah. He's like, son I'll of get a you bitch. next week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. And, or we go into combat. I knew I should have picked the he's closet. Like, he's like, so you smelled me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it starts like That's an RPG video, video game. It's like, oh, you've me. caught me. Squared. Has a sword. I'm not crazy. Or y'all, y'all talk to like y'all's cabinets and stuff, or like stuff. Cabinets. You okay? If you like run into a countertop, you don't say sorry. No, I Oh, I cussed it out. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I feel like you guys are on the same <laughs> yeah, similar, yeah. similar wavelength. You, you guys you got different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, 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 you guys are sometimes, on the spectrum. Sometimes on the closer I, side. I, I have this weird mood uh, and this weird habit I do sometimes where there'll be times where I'm in the shower, showering, and then I'll close my eyes and I'll just start punching the walls. Are you all right? <laughs> right now, that's yeah. coming from him. He I thought right he was now. about to be like, "Yeah, this me is, too." This, this is documented intensely. too. I'm not saying this just for attention. I have a weird thing where I punch the walls in the shower. What's the game? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? I, so I end my my hot. I take very hot showers and I end it with cold. So it hypes me up. Good man. Sometimes I get too hyped up, so then I start <laughs> punching the shower the the walls. Is there music going, <laughs> or is it just thoughts? <laughs> are you like listening to like some? No, I just mostly just empty mine. Like, <laughs> all right, I'm glad. That's, that's what happens hey, you, when his you, mind you, gets empty. You can relate. You can relate with that. Hey, empty mind. Yeah. Well, all right. I love that. That was the first thing that made him like question. He was like, "Huh, that's weird." Well, and, that, and talking to cabinets. Yeah, like, that causes pain you know what on you your see, right? Yeah, but why are you talking to an inanimate object? Because you don't know. Because he's a he, cabinet. I'm you, not gonna lie. You don't know. Inanimate objects is my biggest pet peeve in this. There's nothing that'll ever top it. Like I That's should a, never. This is a pet I, peeve, dude? I should never lose to a pe- like a peanut butter jar. I, I'm, oh. a, I'm a human being. I should be able to open oh, you ten times yeah. out of ten. Yeah. Shit like that. Like it. Oh my god, it pisses me off. That's why I think stubbing your toe feels like shit because it hurts so much. And then you look down, you like you inanimate object. Yeah. Yes, but you then maybe it, maybe it scooted yeah. over. It was trying to get you because you put your feet on it or didn't. That's wipe why I think it down all your properly. your coffee tables do. Yeah, well, no, they that have means to. they're alive then. But tr- yeah. uh, tripping's irresponsible. I, I'll stand by that as well. Are you nuts? If you trip. You're irresponsible <laughs> because it's I, simply your fault. <laughs> if you can't right, left, right, left to your next location without falling, this you're, is victim blaming in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is some victim blaming. But it's a trip. If you got shoved, pushed, or tripped by someone else, a third party, then you're not to blame. I can kind of agree with them. Thank you. Know? you. If, you, if Most, you can't walk from here to the next door, Whose fault is it? And most times when you trip, you're probably like, oh, I was like walking sloppy. That's what, whatever. Makes, yeah. it, that's what makes me even Looking more mad. Looking down at your phone. Yeah, yeah. You weren't paying attention. No, no, Irresponsible. No, no. There's a crowd around. And again, you got shoved. Again, he then, just said exactly. if you get shoved. No, no, shoved, no, no, trip, no, no, if, there, no. if there's any X factor, I'm talking about if you're walking on a sidewalk and you just, uh, 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 like, <laughs> that's your fault. I'm just saying, no one else. if people are watching you walk, that can cause a trip. See, okay, he, has this, he has this depth perception thing. When he reversed, like, reverse pulling it, like, back into a spot, he gets dizzy. He forgets his left and right. Oh yeah, he has a damn near throw perception up. thing. That's <laughs> yeah. today on the plane. He said, "Are we upside down right now?" He said that <laughs> word for word. Wait, can you go on roller coasters? I enjoy a good coaster. Okay, <laughs> I enjoy one, but I'm too tall for for most of them. That's but when I go on them, I do enjoy them. But I have to sit down. No, for that a actually is a height requirement for roller tall coasters. Like, so, like, people, so, tall people. So basically, it's the it's one where your like extremities are out. So like if it's, it's a regular Superman one, it's if it if it's like a regular coaster where you're in a car, you can ride it. It's just gonna suck because our knees are in the thing. But like oh. the ones where you're dangling, like if you're ever in like a swing one, oh my sometimes God. there's, there's you, they oh. won't let you. I thought hey, I was the only one. They're flying right above your head. You just kick some yeah. person <laughs> walking by, <laughs> like someone in the skull. Yeah. 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 Wait, uh, uh, are you still wet? Oh, even more. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of being wet, uh, when is the worst what? time to get hard? <laughs> <laughs> What a segue. Great transition. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go... S- mm. 
It, it has to be something to do with public. Yeah. It, ha- it has to be right something before a to class do with presentation. Public. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. Nah. Funeral. Funeral. Okay. Oh, if you're doing. But that. only if we funeral, need. If you're giving if you're, a speech, like if you're sitting down, like no one will know. Oh, I okay. Think, I think it's still if you're a bad giving, time to be hard. Yeah, if you're getting hard, even in the back. If of the you're funeral. giving a eulogy and you're bricked up, we need to, yeah. when someone needs to speak. <laughs> hey, to you. Like, what if it's what if it's what if it's like your significant other or something? Shouldn't be bricked up. Nope. Yeah. What? Yeah. What is happening? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're thinking about something like. Pl- yeah, you know, you're thinking about. Uh, oh, that's right. Death. You're probably thinking death. Oh, I missed them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You missed them or something. Uh, I, ha- I had one that is definitely the worst, but I don't know if I should say it. Come say on. It. Wait, it's happened? It's happened? In no, real life? I, not to me, because I'm not in the position. Where's your mic at, Brando? To, but oh. if, you're a, if you're like a school teacher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you're teaching class. Under the oh prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but under the prison. Under the cell. Yeah. Oh, maximum God. security. Hey, maybe, maybe cut that one out. I don't know if that's an appropriate joke. We're not the teachers getting hard. Yeah, no, they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not at all. Why would, no. why would we never cut? <laughs> he missed the beginning. Never uh, in a million. Did you? You don't know his career? No, he said that's them. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, oh was they're a, a teacher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He didn't realize. So we might we might just snip that one out. It's just a quick little snip, yeah. you know. Yeah, we'll blade let's blade we'll, that. We'll cut that. We'll cut yeah, that. We might we might blade that one out of there. Out of there. But everything we're good. Everything else is game. You said there was one. Yeah, right. I literally I show back up. They're like, hey, uh, come, let's have a talk. With <laughs> so at that point, I would just have to be like, like I said earlier, it's just a matter of time, and I'd have to be it's like, just highlights <laughs> of our podcast. Yeah. Every it's up one. there, a laser pointer. Like, so right here, <laughs> you say that. <laughs> I need you to define bricked up. <laughs> and I'm just like, ah. Uh. What, what does bricked up mean to you? Yeah. I'm like, you know what, uh, principal? Let's what's, the, what's the one right answer, Brando? Hug- oh, oh, my God. God. Brando so said, what is happening? Mom. What yeah. is happening? Um, what just happened? No, yeah, that- Funeral? Teaching, no, I hugging think, I moms. Think it, I think that's right. This is pretty oh, bad. Hugging wow. moms is probably. Yeah. probably no, that's, wow. that's that's different. It's never that's been a concern of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that God. actually has never even entered my brain ever. Yeah. Like neither, neither. Now it's in my brain. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I need to that there because now it's in my brain. I thought, is it as worse as hugging your dad? Oh my! Which one's worse? <laughs> I think mom's, mom's worse. Mom, yeah. mom has to be worse. Yeah. Because yeah. dad, dad could, dad could just like punch you. Just a quick, <laughs> just, 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 yeah. end it, just end it. Like it's just, it's end it. There's, no, there's no hard. Dad feelings. just fucking clocks yeah. you in your literally job just, or just a, a left hook. He ends it. You, you walk away. It's, it's nothing weird. Now your mom though, it's like, what's going on? It's like, come on, buddy. What, what the are fuck? We? Yeah. yeah. Literally, like, do I gotta call Freud? Like, what's going on? With Freud. Uh, Sigmund well, Freud. That, that, <laughs> what if? What, what if? Wait, wait, wait! All that shit. Did you guys see that show called like Milf Manor or some yes. shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the weirdest on shit what? I've ever seen. I don't know what it's on. It's like a reality show, but what it is is I didn't realize. I thought it was just a show about like like younger dudes dating milfs. I was like, that's cool. But what it turns <laughs> out to really be is dudes that are probably like early twenties, like late teens, like 18, 19, 21, around that range. Coming on a sh- coming to like a reality show house with their own moms mm-hmm. who they all have oh, hot moms. I did where and then the moms are I, dating like their friends the, and the, the the kids are dating other moms and yep. they're like I did see that. But they're in I the crib the with their moms. So yes. now the moms are like talking to their mom friends about like that's oh your son has a huge cock. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like sick. whoa. Uh, uh, and I and I was like this is the weirdest fucking show I've sick ever seen. Sick ass show. Yeah, it's no, it's, it's sick. That's crazy, sick. bro. I can't Sarnia? believe that got greenlit by a studio and That's that we I'm don't saying. have many, a TV deal yeah. yet. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> how many people watched that and was like, yeah. Disturbing like how many but entertaining, no? I don't know if I can get that entertaining. I think that's like nine. Yeah, you're sick. Yeah, you're sick. Yeah, you're sick. <laughs> might be. Uh, hey, space. I, have, I have no inclinations to watch it. Yeah. Thank it, you. it was it, like I saw clips of it on TikTok and I was like, and I originally, like I said, I thought it was just a. Just you're just dating milfs, but it's uh, it turns out to be way weirder than but that. But it's crazy that somebody got that. Like, okay, they got a budget. Yeah, they got my thing a, is, who got the idea? Yeah, the okays yeah. are just as bad. But who's and sitting I, around like, bro? Let's I, get. Sons I know and their they're moms. especially sick for being on that show because I literally have a milf fetish, and I still would not be on that. <laughs> yep, I love this guy. Well, that's because you got to bring your mom. <laughs> yeah, but like, what if? Yeah, that's that's what that's yeah. what sets like yeah, that's, that's the line. Weirdo that's shit. the line I cross. Or. Would Don't cross. cross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I cross it easily. Let's go. Sign me up. Season two. <laughs> I could never. This was a part two to the other one, but uh, what's the what's the best way to hide your inappropriate boner? Oh, waistband. Waistband, right? Real quick. I think that's the only way. That's yeah. yeah I mean, no. have I'm you ever hit it another way? But but we were saying that what if like 
you everybody's eyes were on you and you didn't have time to basketball game in. you guys are yeah. lined up in your shorts and you're standing up in front of a crowd <laughs> yeah. who's getting bricked up during a basketball yeah. game you know, maybe you see a girl looking anthem. at you in the crowd <laughs> Like, maybe you oh, see a girl so in the crowd and she's looking at you. You get them randomly all yeah. the time. And maybe she's looking at you licking her lips. Like, so if, I would say, if you don't have the opportunity to waistband it, then you have to, like, there has to be a diversion. There has yeah. to be, like, like smack the kid next to you. Everyone, ooh, turn yeah. and then you just turn this way. Yeah. Something. Throw, a, throw a pencil. Yeah. Like, now you just got to hit the floor, do a summer roll. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you're sitting ah, down. So now you can, like, and you're just, yeah. run, you're just like, oh, you're fixing. You're uh, just like, oh. Uh, uh, uh. I keep nodding my head like I have one. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, I heard a tip. It's like you flex a muscle. Yep. Part, another part of Does your body work? as hard as you can for 30 seconds because all the blood starts going to that muscle instead of your. I've tried it though. I remember I had it, I, I learned that and I tried it and it didn't work. You're supposed There's to clench no your way. booty hole. I heard that. You're supposed to clench your butt. <laughs> I will, I'll test this theory out later tonight, and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Test it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do it in front of me or I'm not going to believe you. We, we, we start talking. We just look over. He's just like. <laughs> and just like flex hard. Just flex the whole time. Is it he's one just, muscle or would it help to flex multiple? I think everything. You just flex oh, everything. Yeah, flex everything. Just get the butt. Like, do the upper <laughs> part. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't have a boner right now, so it won't work. But um, He's like, no, trust me. I, I don't. I didn't like how he looked at me and said... <laughs> trying my best. <laughs> What's the most frustrating thing about having a penis? Oh, okay. Let me tell you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Most frustrating. I enjoy the life of it. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a good companion, but yeah. grooming. Most, I'd say paying for things sucks. Oh yeah. Yeah. We say grooming. Well, go get Manscaped. Oh yeah, Man- Manscaped. No. <laughs> no, no, not, <laughs> not on here. Not on here. <laughs> you can plug it. Oh, Man- uh, Manscaped, well. run us our check. Yeah. Well, Manscaped.com oh, sponsored by Manscaped. Oh yeah, big time friends I'm of the bonnet. show. <laughs> Manscaped.com. Uh, use promo code PSH at <laughs> checkout for twenty percent off and free worldwide look at, shipping. Look free at the look shipping. at the beard fade. Oh yeah, they uh, just dropped their beard kit. You they did drop their beard kit. Men's grooming kit. Yeah. Wait, do you cut your your uh, your own beard, of or do you course, like using the beard kit for <laughs> Manscaped? <laughs> yeah. Only he's like backslash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, Is so there, there's not even a promo code people get. You just said yeah, it. Yeah, PSH. Oh, you PSH. Guys <laughs> <don't> <laughs> <laughs> like oh, don't group me in with him. <laughs> yeah, if they use PSH at checkout, they get twenty percent off free worldwide shipping. Worldwide. Wait. Is PSH your guys' isn't it? You should know podcast PSH. Yeah, what is PSH? That is that's my government initials. Oh, oh you're just putting that out there. So it's yeah. Peyton Hart. What's the middle name? Stephen or Stefan or Stefan, however you want to say it. There's it's not, it's not Stefan. But it, I, can, <laughs> I can confirm that it's not Stefan. Ooh, might. I didn't come out of you. Oh, yeah, you didn't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If I want to be sexy one day, I say Stefan. Nope, it's not your name. Do you ever introduce yourself as Stefan? Hardly ever. But if I were to feel like it, I will. I'll ooh, get it oh. in there. Do y'all okay? If you go shopping or to a restaurant or whatever, do you always give a fake name? He gives a fake name. I do one hundred percent of the time. What's your fake name? One hundred percent. Ben. Ben. What's the telling yours? I just had deja vu. Um. Uh. What do I use? Steven. Steve or Steven. Steven. Yeah. He says it every t- and it just irks me. I don't know why. It's just like <laughs> it's like just say Peyton. No, because my name is like they always misspell it, man, or they always say it wrong. So if I'm not in the mood for it, sometimes <laughs> I'll just be like Ben. You're just like Ben. Yeah. Because it's the easiest. Because sometimes like paid in, aid in, and I'm just like, oh, never mind. I'll just do dumb shit. I'll say Oprah or Harry Potter. <laughs> and then it's funny when I do Harry Potter, they like, you could see them and they're like, <laughs> <Look> Harry, <laughs> Harry, Harry like, Potter. Yeah. Harry who? Yeah. Hey, Harry who? <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of Harry's in here. <laughs> You have a barista that's like super into it. He's like, ooh, man, I could have <laughs> He's just looking. He's like, <laughs> you're just like, give me my fucking Oh, speaking of Harry Potter, have you guys played the- Oh my God, I want it so bad. I want it. I want Dude, it. Dude, I started it last crazy. night. Crazy game. It's dope. Top, maybe top three of my lifetime. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that's, you've been playing? Sick. Yeah. I played last night till like 11. No wonder he's late. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I played oh, last yeah, night till actually, six. <laughs> Wait, is sure it- to get off early. Is it like World of Warcraft or- no, it's just a no. It's so it's it's essentially you're just like a wizard at Hogwarts, and it's an open world game. Uh, so like your GTA, your GTA is Red Dead Redemption, wow. is like open world, and you can just cool. and you're just a wizard. Wow! I yeah. bought a broom. I've just been flying everywhere. That's sick. Yeah. I want. I want it for sure. You're a Harry we Potter. Were just, we were just, I mean, I'm not like a diehard. Like you sound just, like a diehard. No, no. Man. But it's it's still. I mean, it's a great series. I've watched it several times, but. I just think the game would be lit. So no, yeah, I feel like you would be like a Ravenclaw. You'd be like a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I like that name. He's a lot. definitely a, yeah. hu- a Hufflepuff. What is Hufflepuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute, Slytherin. S- easy yeah. Slytherin. No, <laughs> Slytherin. Slytherin. Uh, <laughs> he's Hufflepuff. Slytherin, wait, do you sure. like Harry Potter? Uh, I've not, he, I've he, seen, 
He didn't even know what Hufflepuff was. No, he has no. Oh, you don't? No, he no, said no. he just likes the. Oh, there's four yeah. Actually, no, he gives me more Gryffindor vibes. To be honest with you, that's true. I yeah. agree with that. What you are give me Ravenclaw <laughs> vibes. What's like Hufflepuff? Genius? Yeah, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff is uh, like Hufflepuff's the loyalty and loyalty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You're a honey badger, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's your sign. And he said. He said I'm Hufflepuff. Smartness. Gryffindor is bravery. Bravery and like courage. Slytherin is snake. Snakey. Yeah. Nah, it's just the it's like cunning. It's like charisma and like uh the the hunger for power. Yeah. Um, look at this man. Uh-huh. Does he not look like uh, Mr. Snape? Asia, Korean <laughs> Snape. 100%. Dude, an, an Asian Snape. Wait, wait, wait. wait but, but, okay, now we... You somebody gotta like give Korean me one. Korean Snape. Somebody gotta give I me one. Slytherin. Gr- Slytherin. I would say Gryffindor. Nah, I'd say either Gryffindor or Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Right. Hands so down, like, so Slytherin. The, the appearance uh-huh. gives Slytherin, but I wouldn't deem you, like, the person uh, as a Slytherin. Thank you. You're too thank loud you. to be Slytherin. Yes, yeah. I agree uh, with that. When I took the test, the official Harry Potter quiz online, they said, I'm a Gryffindor, but it was like 53% Gryffindor, and the other was fully Slytherin. So it was like, really? you could have gone oh, either so way. I was right. No, you weren't. <laughs> I, I said was, Slytherin. I was Gryffindor. 53% though. Gryffindor. Yeah, that's, that's Gryffindor. More than I know, 50. but still <laughs> half. Wait, I was close. Can we ask yeah, the audience, yeah. ask the audience yeah, what they hey, think? That should be the comment for today. Put, put everyone's Harry Potter houses in the comments just from, well, if you know of all of us, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd yeah. be fun. They're like, I don't know Cam and Payton. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for No, I'm sure a lot of them know <laughs> you. They're like, that guy's Ravenclaw, I guess. And uh, back to y'all. <laughs> that guy's wearing a blue shirt, yeah. so that's Ravenclaw. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever date someone that has their... I don't what the fuck was that? <laughs> just what the frick was that? Would you ever date someone that has their ex's name tatted, tatted on them? It's you question, buddy. Why is that a me <laughs> question? Yeah. Locked down. Oh. oh. Got me my wife. Wow. Very respectful. Shout out to Wait, Olivia. I love if, you. I, if I may, how old are you? 24. 20. Married? Yeah. So it's definitely like. You do a, not give 24. It's, I mean, it's like, mm-hmm. I think, did he miss that part or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was. He was it, yeah. So basic, long story short, catch up. So we dated like four and a half years. We met at Juco and then I went to uh, another state to play basketball there after two years was done and she followed. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this shit's either going to be really good or really bad. And yeah. it was really good. And it was just one of those, oh, like, dude, I, I love you. her. It was, it was dope. Ooh, so. Ooh, happiness. Ooh, I don't go to bed alone every night. <laughs> Ooh, devastated, sweaty loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I like how it was sweaty loneliness. <laughs> do you, do you want to get married one day or you're kind of chilling right now? Yeah. I'm gonna answer for him. How are you gonna answer for him? I'm gonna answer for him. I'm gonna answer for you. Yes, he does. He wants to get married one day, but right now, oh no, it's just yes, you do. Too much career. Too much career. It's way too much career, and I got a lot. I've had a lot of trust issues. I got cheated on through Pinterest before. What What? Pinterest? Tell us about that. What is that? And the Apple Notes app. We that we've talked about this, but Uh, tell the Pinterest story. Tell the story. Two different girls. It's sick. No, same girl. Same woman. (laughs) Sick. You caught him on. You caught her on two separate occasions. Oh yeah, I miss her a lot still though. (laughs) Oh man, you sound like this guy. You sound exactly (laughs) like (laughs) me, bro. (laughs) She means a lot to me. You invited locked. Y'all locked in. Um. I just They really are yeah, though really yeah. He's like the evil side Of the spectrum And he's like the good But they're on the same hey, scale the same oh, like <laughs> Henchmen and like <laughs> They're like two Two pieces oh, in a pod Henchmen bro yeah. That's hilarious I mean the Pinterest thing It wasn't that crazy Because I didn't even Catch her in the Pinterest She just told me About that After I caught her In the oh. Apple Notes app So on the Apple Notes I just kept nope. seeing her get Notifications on there, and I was like, "You're being hacked! Like, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> <laughs> Fix it!" It's like, like a loving, so innocent, yeah, it's it's like so innocent. Loving like, boyfriend, how is notes yeah. getting notifications. Yeah, yeah. and then you um, grammar checking, and it's like sending a report. What's going on? But then she was real, like she wasn't good under pressure. So as soon as I was like catching her do that, <laughs> she like fumbled, and she was like, "Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing." And I was like, "Oh, now I know there's something wrong." And she showed me, and it was like, "Ooh, I miss you so much. I can't wait to come back over tonight." Not, so I mean he was doing good at his job I guess but um and then yeah. I was like what is this and she was like I, I've been talking to him for a long time and it's also on Pinterest too and I was like Pinterest like you can apparently you can like message people on Pinterest yeah. or something or share mood boards and smoothie recipes and oh, shit no. <laughs> how old so, are you when this happened oh sh- I was like 18 probably oh Cause cause that's when I first okay. got cheated on too Dude. oh no hey your first heartbreak is a oh no, there's, there's oh a reason God. why I am the way I am. Yeah, right. like first heartbreak for anybody watching. If you haven't experienced it, just prepare. Just don't, you. just don't talk to anybody at all. Just to avoid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. go alone. Honestly, that is a school of thought that I've been, uh, uh, like adapting exploring? to words, man. adapting to or, or adopting. Yeah. 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 or not, not exploring, but like I appreciate it more. So growing up, my parents never let me like 
have friends or like talk to anybody. I couldn't have Damn. girls over. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know why I included that first part. I couldn't. I couldn't talk to girls. And I couldn't have tattoos. Yeah, I couldn't have girls over. And looking back on how my first relationship went, and how that affected me and my dating skills now, I think it would have been better if I did not date when I was younger. Oh no, for sure. I'm I'm kind of the same way as you. Like I barely had any girlfriends. Like I I built, but okay. The same in that aspect, but opposite with my parents. Like I built such a level of trust that I like I was kind of one of those kids I didn't really have a curfew. Didn't really have like my mom just absolutely trusted in me. Like he's not stupid. He wouldn't do dumb stuff. Sounds and I about- and I didn't and I didn't like abuse it. Yeah. Like I could have been just an absolute shithead and like abuse the power of me. Like, yeah, I'm going to you know, I'm going to study and I'm you know, not mm-hmm. but I would always just be honest. Like, there's no point to lie to him. So, I had the same uh, in that aspect. That's what. Uh, that's something Asian parents could learn, learn from white parents. Yeah. <laughs> is that like by being ex- like you, all you've done is make us not tell you things now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. And I think there, like you said, there is a way that it happens where you just end up abusing it. But I, for the most part, my friends that have parents that they have that relationship, one, they're white, and then two, they they just have a way better relationship. Mm, like they tell their parents true. everything. Yeah. The, the so did she show you the Pinterest and you saw them sharing a mood board? Yeah, yeah. No. So they were actually sharing like no, things. they were in a they relationship. <laughs> oh, they were dating. Oh yeah, yeah. No, there was like were you the sick. side or were you the main? I thought I was oh the main, God. but he was just like a, he was like I was like one A, he was like one B. So we were basically just sharing. But he knew about you. I think he might have been. I, 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 he had to have. Why is he talking on Pinterest? You know, probably hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Makes sense. yeah. Hey, so you're still the main. Yeah. <laughs> win is the win. <laughs> I've been heartbroken for six years since then. Wait, still it, it, It's affected you since since then. No, uh, I'm fine. It yeah. affected him. Are you fine? It, you, your your eyes moment. are watering, man. <laughs> no, I'm good. Are you good? No, he's not good. <laughs> what do you mean no, I'm not good? No, it definitely affected him. Like, I mean, shit, that's not short term, but like the first year and like that chunk. But he's I'm fine now. Ba- oh. Basically, to break it down, he got over that one. Got with another woman, and then another. Also a demon, and then or a, like another heartbreak. Oh, so it, st- it started your. It started your. Uh, another heartbreak. No, he was saying that he got heartbroken again. No, he said it, another girl, another girl, another girl, then heartbreak. Oh no, 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 just one, just one other. No, so another girl repeating the. Yeah. Did you I want to tell right? the second Did I have the timeline right? Was it two or one? I tend to like you know those like traumatizing memories you yeah. push to the deep back of your brain that yeah. you're trying to bring to the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was either one. It was either one or two after that, and then it happened again, and that, and he was he took a hit again. But oh. but look at him now, lonely as ever. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> That's crazy. There, I mean, it kind of like the fact that you're focusing on work and stuff. We talked about this recently, but I want to see if you agree. It's that like a man can't fully commit to a relationship until he's secure in his career. You feel like that's true? See, okay, so this is where I might have different opinions. Uh huh. But to me, okay, do you know Skip Bayless? Yes. Yeah. Like, okay, so Skip Bayless openly told his wife, you will never come first in my life. My career will always be first. Okay. Mm. Damn. Power move to say. Props to you, whatever. But it's like, at the end of the day, in, in this life, it's like, it doesn't matter if I'm a mailman, a content creator, a teacher, a janitor, whatever. It's like, everyone, everyone has that need for love and like mm. wants to be loved, wants to share love. So I completely respect grinding and chasing your dreams and making something happen. But at the same time, if you're, if you can never overcome it, like if you have a, a dead set goal to where you can do this in this time frame, and once it gets to this much and you're this stable, then you can start looking for it, then props go for it. But if you're just always headstrong about job, 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 it's like, do you want that to be your whole life story? Yeah. Like, do you want to your entire, like, imagine when you're said and done, it's just like, you did this. That was it. Yeah. You didn't have a love. You no know, one like you didn't. No one really loved you outside your parents and family. You never had a love of your life. Never had the opportunity if you want kids to have children to share memories. And it's I got it's got really deep. But, no, no. That's but good. I mean that's kind of like that that's kind of my. It's like Plus, if you can work in your career and it takes complete dedication, then do it. But if it's gonna be like your entire life and you never hit that stability point to where maybe you can try to find someone to share this with, share this empire you've built with. Then it's just like, it's empty. Yeah, it's. it's I feel I like mean, with the right woman too, like it. Bro, just, hell all yeah. she will do is make your life easier. He- yeah, so now he- it's like you can he- focus more on your career and then let her <laughs> take care of the other parts. <laughs> well, the, 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 the thought behind that though is that you know, like it's like 
I see what you're saying. It's uh, a lot of people get trapped in the never ending cycle yeah. of like more, more, more. At a certain time, you know when you're secure. You know what I mean? As in, you That's know you can if you know you can hit that to the yeah. relationship what you want to provide. But if you're below that, like you're still building yourself. This is for a lot of young people out there, right? Like if you're in your twenties, early twenties, right? Especially for dudes, you're just getting your career started. You could barely take care of yourself. And then you get, and then let's say you do want to take care of your girl, your wife, and then you realize like, oh, I don't have any capability to do that. You're yeah. going to focus more on your career because you're like, I got to get to a certain level so I can do these things, behave this way. But a lot of people, you know, sacrifice their relationship for that. Or a lot of relationships are not understanding. Like I see a lot of 22 year olds dating that are like, my man needs to spend all this time with me and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, your man is 22. If you, if he spends all that time with you, he's detrimenting his future, like his exactly. career and your future. Like, exactly. but, I, but I think that what Skip Bayless is saying of like, you will never come yeah. before work. It's that's like, that's so dramatic. Hard. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's very hard. It's very, yeah. it's very hard headed too. And also, it's like, Skip Bayless is what, 50 years old? How old is that man? No, he's like, he's pushing like, 70. I pay 70. Yeah, he's, he's old as shit. Like, but I'm saying, but he said, home. but he said that in the past. Yeah, but yeah. it's like for real though. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you, are you not rich enough? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of pressure. I completely on you agree guys. with what you said though. Wu-Tang. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent But like, like he Skip Bayless is a perfect example of gone too far. And also Kevin O'Leary, you piece of shit. He just tweeted recently. Um, fucking. Well, what do you what do you tweet, Mister Mister Scumbag? Um, it was like. Like, like, basically, like, forget about having a wife. Forget about your mom. Like, forget about everyone. If you don't have success in your career, you have nothing. And I was Not like, true. you're like old. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> to, to be saying this type of shit, you should have been had enough success that you could focus on the things that do matter. No one dies and is like, I wish I had another million dollars on top of my hundred million I already have. See, like, and that's what I'm saying because I saw one time I saw it was about a year ago. It was like, imagine you're in. Just say you're in the hospital, you're like it was, you're blessed enough to where you like you're gonna have an easy passing or whatever. And like your whole family's there. Like you're never gonna be like, damn, I wish I had one more Birkin bag. Exactly. Damn, I wish I would have went to Fuji one more time. Like yeah, you're, ne- it's, you're gonna be Porsche. like you're gonna be like I am so grateful and glad that my grandchildren, great grandchildren, my children are in here, my cousins, nephew, like you know. Yep. And that's just one of those things. It's like if you can never take the filter of career off, then it's I almost kind of I just. In a respectful way, I kind of feel bad for you. Like, yeah. also, if you're with a partner, that's somebody else that like you're bringing into your life to to put like a hard line where you will never compromise ever. It's that's like, like a yeah. strange whoever his wife whoever agreed to that. Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that's also sad. About red it's flags so, earlier. Yeah, that's a yeah, red. That's, that's a red, red flag banner. For sure. That's a damn red. And wall. I feel like, but like uh, on going back to the age thing, if you're 21 and you say things like that, I think that's, uh, it is a bit of a red flag, but I think you've got to adapt that mentality. Like to make it in this world, a lot of times you need certain toxic qualities like the sacrifice, hard focus, blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. But, um, but if you're still thinking like that at like 50 plus, even 40 plus, you're like, man, have some kids, man. I would say like 35. Yeah. Yeah. No, 35 is still hella young. Maybe 40. Mm. If you're still like, I'm, I have to only focus about my I career. Know. Like you're tripping, you know, like, yeah. 35 what? should be peak career for a man, I feel like. Yeah. But yeah. the original question, so would you date someone with their ex's name tattooed on their <laughs> 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 How the hell did we... Yeah. This is peak podcasting, yeah. guys. Yeah. Go on a tangent. How did we enough. even yeah. segue to that? I uh, about I'm not. And they're the girl of your dream. We? Imagine if it was your wife, but she had no. Chad on her shoulder blades. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. So you better turn that Chad to... Shader or something. You better <laughs> add some other letters and figure out a way to make it work. Shader. I don't know, but no. Yeah, no, I would not. I, I, it's a cheddar. I always, like, yeah. E and then I always, clam chatter. Yeah. Like my favorite soup. I always joke with her. I was like, because she's always like, get my name tat, like in a joking way. She's like, get my name tat. And I'm like, all right, I'm just put live. And then if anything ever happens, God willing, hope it doesn't. But if it does, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, turn yeah. that bitch to like live your dreams or, like, <laughs> live your best live, life, live, life, life. Life. <laughs> like, yeah. live in the moment like now, no one's escaping my name though you tattoo my name on you you oh, your print no. yeah. is with him staying. I could just make it Vietnam I love the country <laughs> <laughs> Vietnam it's so beautiful over there yeah. why do you have the word Vietnam yeah. I love it so much yeah, you don't it's like, like Vietnam fantastic. you racist hey, but like, it's the girl of your dreams <laughs> see and, she's got, and it's small it's on her ankle it's on her ankle you know I I don't really I'm care about, to say, about he, anything. He's, he's, really one thing I'll anything. give him that he's really, really good at is not allowing someone's past to affect what is happening mm. right in front of his eyes. Yeah. He's really good at that. You know how people can get good caught up? You. Oh, you're whatever. Body <laughs> body counts this. You've yeah. done, you have so many toxic <laughs> traits. So you used to do this. Like he could give two shits. Like yeah, if he, but what if their past is it's your ex that did you dirty and she came back to you and was like, hey, 
Let's do this again. Uh, I'm yeah. changed. Well, because I'm directly affected by that. Yeah, that's different. So if it oh. happened, it's something that I'm like not involved in. I didn't even know you existed as a human. That has nothing to do with me. But real quick, but what if she hits you up? Like, yes, it's so. a new girl, girl of your dreams, and she goes, "Yeah, one time I cheated on my ex with a with a Pinterest board." <gasps> uh, what if she so, has a Pinterest? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, if she we, has a Pinterest. We all never <laughs> 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 yeah, honestly, you you've affected my opinion on Pinterest. Now I'm not dating girls with Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Delete better, your notes, better delete yeah. your Pinterest. Better delete you cannot have an iPhone. Only Android. No Pinterest. Get a burner phone. No Google Docs, no notes, well, none Google of that. Google Docs, too. They be no, Google Docs. Pick, pick, pick me, pick me. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, so my question was. <laughs> that was like a teacher in a hey, school. Stop inter- I raised my hand so you wouldn't interrupt me anymore. Anyways, so um, what I was thinking was, but I feel like you've made some bad picks in the past, right? So do you feel like, I think it's a good thing and a positive thing that you don't look at their past, but do you feel like that's fucked you in some ways? No. No. <laughs> That is a great question. <laughs> I love when he does that. Yeah. I've always tried to do I that. Can't do I can't it. do it. Oh, yeah. And you went okay, there for eight it's, years. So, and it's you'll so, get tired it's of it. so weird because it's not like. So that's what you do with like a can of dip. Never done dip in my entire life. I don't know. I just was obsessed with the little noise. But you literally just go here. So you go thumb in middle and you let your index be like loose. Like don't control it at all. And uh-huh. you're literally just going. You hear that? a nasty tutorial. So pressure. Oh, my rings make a sound. There you go. So pressure there, those two. And then this one's literally just dangling and you just. Why is that so loud? It's hard. Yeah, I can't. It, no, do it definitely took me a uh, Have you heard I, this man clap? clap? Oh, yeah. Clap, clap, bro. Cover your ears. And you start, twer- <laughs> start twerking. To the audio <laughs> listeners. You're, clo- you're closer, man. Cover your ears. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yo, that was a so, long ass clap. Yeah. So, sorry. so sorry. So sorry. Shots, for Spotify. shots yeah. fired. I was just yeah. audio yeah. listeners. Wait, like, audio listeners, we apologize. That's it. Nah. This is not a good yeah, segment. So yeah. Everybody says, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Like, yeah, literally skip this. that part real quick. Ten Wait, seconds. Lucky uh, I'm deaf on this year. Yeah, yeah. Shots fired. Local yeah, neighborhood. The guys that I, clap they call hands. me like Asian no, Helen you, Keller. No, have you? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. The <laughs> question. Back to the question, though. We're getting say, sidetracked that's a, again. That's a, that's, a, that's, a top <laughs> that's a top for him. Hey, he doesn't know who that is. Freaking Anne Frank. Oh, you don't know what? Oh. Hey, hey, before we get too far away from my question, that I raise my hand respectfully to yes, ask. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh, do you remember the question? Or did these, did these vagabonds distract you so much? I remember. Much? Did, did you feel like you made the wrong choices because of the... Because of not looking at someone's past. Um, no, I, I feel like when I'm in the relationship, though, I tend to let things go, which can be a problem. I mm. feel like that's different from the past, 100%. Mm. How is that different? How is that different, though? Because there's, like, characteristics, you know? Yeah. I, I know, but I feel like getting... Not getting into a relationship because of someone's past is unfair. But I feel like once you're in the relationship with that person and they're starting to bring in their past, that's when you, you can start getting involved. See, I agree. I agree because it's like, like he said, prior to me... I've never known, I didn't even know you were a thing, didn't even know you existed, so whatever you've done literally has never affected me in the slightest. But now that we're a thing, we are now linked, Uh so anything you are bringing in is technically like touching my link as well. Yeah. So it's like, we're now a thing, or we're trying to be a thing, so if something from the past comes into this new circle that's been made, it's like, I am a part of this circle, so... Mm -hmm. But that's why I'm saying, like, before I buy a car, I'm kicking the tires and making sure that they don't fall off when I... If I'm about to commit and drive this car... Why don't you just say, like, check the car facts? <laughs> the tires. So I mean, you know, it's like a thing. You kick yeah. the tires. It's like a term. Yeah. You know, I'm going to check before I get in this car and put my life in this car. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, to me, it's almost irresponsible... Not but to humans, not look at their, not look at their past. Yeah, humans, no, the past. humans aren't I, cars. Listen, sir, I was giving you an see, example. I'm not, human, kicking, I'm not kicking her ankles. Yes. Being like, eh. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. He's, he's, putting, through, he's putting her through a combine. Like, yeah. how high can you jump? Yeah, it's like an analogy. Well, I'm saying like, like an analogy. You can vet people before yes, you. Obviously, you but he's to like be human is to change and evolve. Yes. 100%. But it's like. it's. Yeah, People's past one hundred percent defines them almost. It's yes. like if you so let's just say for example, right, girlfriend, and you learn during the dating phase she's cheated on two of her six ex boyfriends, yeah. right? Not for me. Two for six. That's a thirty three percent. She's shooting thirty three percent, right? Um, Pretty good. Not would you me. would you put on your team? And no. Thirty three percent cheating rate. You guys get into a relationship and then you realize you see behaviors that you're like, okay. I, I, she hasn't done it to me yet, so can I be mad? Where it's like, maybe she's going out and she's like, oh, you know, 
it's just a girl's night. We're hitting this club. The promoter doesn't like bringing guys to the table. And you're like, huh, red flag, especially because you're a cheater but, in the past. But I shouldn't let that affect my decisions and how I treat First of all, right the, the fact that wait, she wait, says wait, the wait, promoter wait. doesn't like No, 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 okay, yeah, but wait, that's wait, a wait, dramatic wait. example. But you know what I mean. She's uh. doing things where you're like, you could easily cheat on me in this scenario. And you've cheated before. See? But, 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 but. but. <laughs> Big ones. The the big thing in a relationship is communication. So if you can't communicate with that person, hey, if you do this, it's gonna make me uncomfortable. And you know, you have a conversation. Insecure. Well, if that's the response, and there's like another problem with the relationship. You realize, okay, this person isn't for me, and then you get out. Mm. But odds are that she was communicating with the other two dudes she cheated on as well. Oh, uh, agreed. Okay, but the, that's when you make a decision. If mm. am I gonna stay with this? Person it's it's kind of one of those things. It's like if I'm you, if, bodying you right now. It's like if you. <laughs> it's like if we. So like if we. If wait, we, wait, let him cook. Let him cook. So if we deemed this right, okay. if we had no clue what this was, and we were just drinking it our whole life, right? That's nectar. Like this, this entire, <laughs> this entire, Thank this you. entire podcast. Yeah, if we didn't nectar, if we didn't know what this was, and we we're just drinking it, right? It's amazing. Nothing happened to us. Okay, and then out of nowhere, Jeremy's like, "Hey, by the way, that is poison. It is in, in fact poison." Okay. Would you still drink it? Would you still Are drink you it? Nuts, Cam? You Are know, you nuts? You know, <laughs> you know she's cheating. You know it's poison. So okay, it, ha that it means, hasn't poisoned you. No, that's not right. It hasn't poisoned you, but you know it's poison. So are you still going to indulge that's in the poison? That's not right because I wouldn't indulge in it, but I knew her past when I indulged. But you know mm -hmm. she's been committed. She's cheated on multiple committed but relationships. But you're saying I'm and drinking now, it without knowing it's poison. I knew it was poison whenever <laughs> I indulged in it. That's different. Uh, so now you're going to, so I'm saying you know she cheated and you're going to now go with her again. And she's cheated twice. You know it's poison. Did and she you're cheat gonna, on me? You're going to indulge in the poison. Mm -hmm. Did she cheat on me? No. Okay. But that okay. That was the, that's the okay. debate though. Is okay. that if you know that you know that it's like so for you, I, we've learned the answer is that you would erase it regardless. Mm -hmm. I think for for you know, I mean, it's probably like I don't know what the split would be, but like I would one hundred percent take that into account. And if she started exhibiting behaviors like the example I gave, I'd be sus. Like yeah, I'd be yeah. like, no, and it, sure. and it and it's weird. I would never care that much about those things if it was a girlfriend that I was just like I she's never cheated on anyone. We are having a healthy relationship, but if I, even if we're having a healthy relationship, if I know she's cheated, unfortunately, I cannot. Like I, my brain will just go that way. Yeah, because you, know? you can't, you can't build that relationship on a foundation of trust. Yeah, because in as soon as you, she says that, you're like, all right, well, I don't trust you. Yeah. Ooh, you and Vid are not on the same page. I know for the first time, right? Mm -hmm. No, I feel first like you guys have always been on the opposite. No, no, we're on the same page. page. I just don't care enough. If she's pretty enough, I'll still take that chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who, who are you taking that chance with? Give a celebrity example. There's a lot. <laughs> Give us just one. It doesn't even have to be a celebrity. I know, but well, for the audience to know who it is, like a level of hotness. Madison Beer. Of course. <laughs> I'll let her cheat on me. <laughs> Do whatever so you want. Just come home to me so I can cuddle after. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Oh, it was too big, babe. Don't worry. It You're hurt. back home now. <laughs> It hurt. It hurt you. It hurt. Who do I have to beat up? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't fight him. him. Okay. <laughs> All right. So God gives you God gives you two inches. You can spend them anywhere. Where are you Where are you spending them? <laughs> oh Lord. We know you don't need no height. So. I know. It's not a really good question with them. Yeah, they they it's got it all. Terrible, terrible group no, to ask. They're all like, it would be too big if I had two down there. <laughs> I'd go without saying that answer. I'm trying to think of a witty answer. Dude. I don't to be six nine, no. You don't want, you don't want long ass fingers either. Like that's not. Uh, who was I'd say, two I'd, say I'd say fingers. two. I'd say two inches in in hundred dollar bills stacked up. Ooh. Get this guy <laughs> off the stage. Two how inches. Much, two inches in a little, like ten grand. <laughs> that'd be a quick little. I don't even know. I was thinking uh, two inches at the end of your bank account. That's more than 10 yeah. So oh, like, yeah. That's zeros. Zero, yeah. That's a lot better answer, but. I would like that. I need to add, like okay. First of all, time out. How has nobody peed yet? No, yeah, I, 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 I've, I've had, had to pee yeah, the whole time. Absolutely, yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're I right. Two inches to my bladder. Yeah. <laughs> what you I, I want to pee. You can pee right yeah, now. Yeah, sure. oh. You guys can ask. We we forgot to tell y'all, but yeah, you can ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're like that. Like, no, you must stay. I was like, I was trying to go on with the show. I'm definitely definitely down for the. Let's take a break. Let's take the next Suji bomb as well. You guys drink hard seltzer? We do. Yeah, we do. But most of them are gross. We are. We got that weird aftertaste. Yeah. Ours is very very clean. Asian flavors, which no one's doing. Okay. Yeah. First one, Asian pear. Did you say Asian hair? Asian pear. Oh. I got Asian hair. I was gonna say, I'm like. <laughs> 
Wow, that's really actually good. Really good. You like it? I'm really picky. Really? What do you I normally like drink? This one's lychee. None. I used to drink the fruit punch Trulies, and then eventually I was like, okay, they're gross. Got over yeah. It. yeah. There you go. I'm sure you hear the pear is really good. Pear and lychee are top two by yeah. far. Well, I appreciate you guys trying. It was really good. Yeah. Actually, we will take, we will take this. Hey, you'll take a box? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you mind if I use your reactions? No, I don't mind. Great. I would have been gayer if I was just like... <laughs> oh, is it on? <laughs> it was so good. Uh, Brando, are we rolling? No, I know, on camera, I'm saying we gotta get theirs too. Yeah, the Sonak bomb. All right, let's... Uh, oh, wait. Why does Esther not have alcohol? She's the one that loves it the most. No, no, oh, yeah. We're rocking what is it? like... What is it called, where? Jeremy? What is it called? Sonak is soju and nectar. That's what we call Sonac. it. Sonak. Yeah. Sonak bomb. Let's just a little bit. Can I get that in stores? Soju? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. ever, like, do you guys hey, have an H Mart or something by you? H Mart. H Mart. Uh, Korean supermarket. Oh, oh we, no. we do have Korean supermarkets, though. Yeah. What is, um, I and I swear to God, this is not, like, a racist thing at all. They're just <laughs> no, genuinely what it is. Like, no, I know. Like, I know. But I'm saying, what is, um, the thing we pass every time in the liquor store that it always, it looks fucking good. We never got, it. uh, Mike, uh, Mike, 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 Mike. Oh, shit. I didn't even know we're going. Yeah. Uh, we're my fault. Now. Um, fuck. The, it's like the, again, it's like the Asian liquor right there every time. Uh, sake? sake? Yes. Sake. What is that? What is it? Sake is a more like rice, rice wine. wine. It's fermented, Japanese. so it's more like wine. It's rice This is rice-based okay. based too. Yeah. Soju is rice-based oh. too. Most soju is made from sweet potato so it's, nowadays. So it's not liquor. It's like wine. Soju is distilled, no, so it's soju more like is, but liquor. The, but yeah. Sake is Yikes. wine. Okay. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. I love how... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I love how we, we clowned him a bit. Now he was like an eggshells. I swear. All right, like so um, <laughs> that's so good. This is Dude, for that, everybody. That, that really is. What is what is your favorite nickname to be called by your significant other, or maybe your boy or somebody? Oh, paid a waiter. Paid a waiter. Paid a waiter. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you wait, wait, wait. Are you joking? Get, get the fuck off. Get off. Are He's, you joking? Wait, 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 wait. He is one hundred percent honest, and that nickname comes from. Take a guess. Jada waiter. P Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah. X. Pinterest girl. X. No, no, it doesn't come from her. Oh, you sick bastard. You're lying. Are you yes, nuts? Are you, are you sick? How are you going to tell me my family tradition? It comes from my grandmother, and then went to my mother, <laughs> and then my and then she was around my grandmother, and mother, she called me that, and then it made me feel real good inside every time you're she said it. You're sick. Why don't you ever call me paid a waiter? I refuse. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you start saying it, he wouldn't yeah. seek for it in toxic <laughs> women. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. My, hey, and I really hope I don't, this isn't y'all, but I cannot stand baby. I don't know what really? it is. I can't stand baby. I like they baby. We, like we are on like the same that. wavelength. Babe? Yo, completely fine. It's like a Wait, whole different world. Babe is fine. Babe is fine. Baby. Baby. I don't, it's just the BY combo at the end. I don't know what it is. I don't like I the just, overuse I don't like of baby, yeah, but I, don't I like, like baby in scenarios. What about like BB? You know? BB? No, I hate that. In text. Uh, in text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In text. <laughs> I like text. No, okay. oh BB girl. God. Okay, close. <laughs> or what? Back. What did you just say? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's insane. No, she's sick. No, that's insane. Yeah. She's sick. No, what the no, fuck? No, she's sick. No, but baby, I'm baby, closed doors in your space, just y'all two. Go for it. Oh, say no. fucking paid away to say whatever you want. I like all like that. In, but in public, I don't know. It just it literally like he says paid away on a Starbucks cup. It yeah, yeah. Me. Call me paid. I like all the weird names. Call me a little sugar muffin. Yeah. You know what I mean? My you cinnamon know? apple. Yeah, all that. I, I mean, like my that. my literal nickname for my wife is Nug. In, nug. In, in, in that's you. Yeah. That's It's like that's Nug. Just a little. Yeah. She's a little. My little Nug. Yeah. What, how tall is your? How tall is your wife? I was just five, gonna four. say that. Five four. Oh, okay. four, five, yo. four. <laughs> you know, you know that I, around like this. <laughs> I sprinted to the TikTok comments. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get him started. He Aww, loves showing. She's. Oh, uh, yo, you can literally lay your chest on hey, her head. Hey, Beautiful. Yeah. Y'all gonna have some cute ass kids. Oh, Oh, the biggest head ever. Yeah. I got. I got. I got. I got a nugget. She has a nugget. But hey. That's she's okay, gonna have no, to push it out. So. I can't wait to have kids. No, honestly, our one th like we so we always joke we're like we really want to have like two max of three, but she's always like, dude, if we push out three beautiful ass kids, she was like, we're not gonna stop. And I'm just like, Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, we gotta stop eventually. That's like, my dream. What are you talking about? You have, you have an age on. where you want the first one? Uh, so this is a, this is a thing we went back and forth on. So. Back to the whole career thing and whatnot. So we've originally, it was like, let's have a honeymoon baby. And we were just like on some shit. Like, yeah. just like, let's just do it right now and be young parents. And I was like, oh, fuck. So then, we, it, so then we were like, let's wait like four or five years. And then like a couple months went by and we we're like, dude, four or five years is such a long fucking time. We're like, let's wait two years. So I don't know. It's, it's probably like, honestly, it'll probably be within, I say we get pregnant within 
another calendar year. So from February to February of 24, I'd say mm. we get pregnant and then just add the nine months after that. Wow. Mm. If, if I had if I had to like genuinely put like money on it, I'd that's say that's soon. the timeline. With, with it's because start of the podcast. Like. No, I know. And, and we, we already talked about that. But she's that's one thing about Liv, though. That's one thing about Liv. I think she's, it's also partly his decision. You get all <laughs> signed. Yeah, 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 you consulted you get, him. Paid a wedding. Yeah. What do you feel? Is Liv not like no. number one, feel like super supportive? His wife is amazing. She's like a second mom to me. So oh. like she's the best ever. That's cute as fuck. And she that supports is, he, yeah. he's, is he immature as hell? <laughs> he didn't no, say, it's, no, she's it's, like a sister to me. He's like no, a mom. So because when we were in JUCO, so like he had a fu- like his hair, his hair looked like puppy tummy. Like it was bad. He did <laughs> he didn't like take care of it. It was bad. It looked re- all sorts of shit. And she like a puppy tummy. You ever seen a puppy's yeah, tummy? Yeah, it's yeah, like that's, loose that's, hair. That's, that's, yeah. so I've funny. never heard that. Like. Like. It was immediate visual. Yeah, it's, a, it's a puppy tummy. But his he was just he was messed up. But she was like she's she that's just her nature. Like she's just a nurturing woman. And she was like. Cause she has curls, y'all just saw. She's like, "Ooh, let me like use this shit. Let me help you." Oh, she Da-da-da. styled she, you out. She, she like washed my hair. She like washes hair, and, she, and yeah. she's just really, she's just super loving person. Yeah, I love her to death. Well, you guys have girlfriends. <laughs> Get a fucking girlfriend. <laughs> no, but uh, she's super. We always joke around, like whenever we're all full time, and uh, whenever we get like really, really big, sh- we tell her she. Uh, her job title is going to be day-to-day operations mm. and decor designer. Mm. And she eats that shit up. She, she loves it. She likes too. interior design too. She is, your your so place looks nice. She used to be on this farmhouse trend. Mm. I don't really like that. Uh. Like the little hanging plants yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. From, and it's, We're from it's the south. Me, we're from <laughs> south. But, but she, uh, she kind of threw that shit away. Now we have like neutral colors like whites and blacks and grays. And it, it looks, yeah. it's like modern. It looks mm. nice. Yeah. I like it. And I that's need, all. I that need is, help. That is all her. I would do. I could. I could live in a fucking shack as long as I have Wi-Fi and food. I'm. <laughs> That's why they call it a woman's touch in your oh, in your house. That's why when you one, walk into a place and it's like nicely designed, it's like a woman lives here. One hundred. If you walk 100%. into my place, it looks like a bachelor's pad. If you walk, I, I, no need, doubt about I that. need. I need. Help. Don't talk about I need my house. Help. If you walk don't into his, place, honestly, he's doing a lot better. But it used to. Just, <laughs> it, you, I swear to God, it used to just be like a single seat, aroma of beef, and it was. Just, it was just like it's that. That was him. It was What's, bad. Where's the beef aroma come? Food or something else? I uh, only no. eat. Beef. He, okay, he eats beef. Okay, like okay. I don't even know how to cook beef. For br- for breakfast, beef for breakfast, he will take a pound of ground beef and brown it and eat that shit with oh, like you're not toast. Joking. No, I swear I'm dead ass. Wait, I, I eat steak and steaks and eggs. No, 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 no. Just, no, no. Yeah. no that's different. It's I don't different. like eggs. Steak, though. steak is different. That's acceptable. Beef, ground <laughs> beef, like spaghetti, ground Wait, beef. But, like, but they know how I eat, and I eat like, she a, eats raccoon. like a raccoon. She eats, I eat, eat like a raccoon. I'll eat anything and everything, and like you'll watch her like pick something off off of like an unidentified surface and yeah. just smell oh, no. it. You guys would think it. I was fr- I I came out of prison. Yeah, that's not safe. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm still should. alive and uh, well. Do you like diet coke? Oh, yeah, fuck. I'll eat anything. But anything. diet coke, do I like it? Whatever. Yeah, diet this, coke in the morning the, with your beef. Yeah. <laughs> is, that you? beef is that you? <laughs> and you put that beef? fifteen second, uh, you know, oh the my microwavable God, he does bacon. Microwave bacon. Yeah. Uh, this is no. a sick no. man. Bacon. Microwave bacon. It comes. It, it's not cold. You're it comes in a box. No, he's a sick so rat bastard. What, what do you do for lunch? A beef. beef. <laughs> <laughs> no, like no. ground beef on lunch bread instead of like breakfast toast. It's like the baguette. You know what I mean? Like no, like oh dear. I'm not joking. It's he needs help. You would like a chopped cheese, I feel like. like oh oh he, yeah, he'd yeah. kill for a chopped I would, cheese. I would like a but like, if cheese. you were to go in his fridge right now, it'd be like, like Miller Lite, four pounds of ground beef, <laughs> and like a leftover like pasta he made from three months ago. <laughs> oh wow! Seriously. Okay, it's, what's it's the bad. nastiest thing? Wait, wait, wait. We're getting sidetracked off the original question. Yeah, I want to hear everyone's that. answer. But he keeps. Uh, what is it? your best? What's your favorite nickname? Oh, beef. Um, <laughs> beef. <laughs> I like. I like. Vitsky? 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 Yeah, That's Vitsky. sick. Who Vitsky's called you Vitsky? Vitsky? Emily. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like Vitsky a lot. Uh, some of my friends just call me Trap. Uh-huh. Trap? Yeah. Because my, my handle is Vit Trap. I oh, okay. That's been my nickname since I was young. So. That's sick. Those two. Trap, bro. That'd be, uh, that'd be live sick. as hell. Yeah, Yo, Trap, away, you good? Yeah. 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 You, need, you need face tattoos to achieve a nickname like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Right. You unlock a whole new <laughs> section of nicknames. They call me Trap. It's been like my, it'd be like, hey, Trap. <laughs> you doing good? Hey, I'm like, trappity. I sure am, Denver. How's it how's, going, buddy? How's your day going? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, Lyle? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be my shit. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, Connor, get the Uber. Come on, my friend. Like, no, that'd be, it's, yeah. 
could I, I just I literally it's camp. Will his wife breakfast. be like, have a good day? Yeah. 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 In like an apron yeah. with yeah. like flour on it. That sounds so nice, guys. It's so nice. Apple added. pie smells coming out their yeah, house. I Ooh. Wish. Ooh, and God. then Beef Man crawls out. Yeah. <laughs> from it's the damn. basement from the Ooh. cellar. Like. His hair looks like ground beef. Yeah. Yeah. Puppy tummy. I need Puppy tummy. Kids, please. <laughs> Oh What's my your god. Nickname? Buns. 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 Okay. Yeah. Who calls you who who calls you that? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? People, huh? What do you mean by that? Oh my 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 buns. handle is little buns. Oh. Because yeah. yeah. I, I like I like bread buns. I like bread. Mm, okay. Yeah, not because of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but what is the who calls you that first? Um, I called myself that. That doesn't count. <laughs> it's what you like. And then, and then other people started calling me that, but it feels better than Esther. Okay, like but you don't have other nicknames buns? that someone else gave you? Esther the Molester. Oh, but man. I don't like Call that, that. <laughs> but, but I don't like it's that It's like, one. hell yeah. I don't like that one. That's you our said name in my, my phone. You said my favorite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? That's my He's name a- in her phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's her name in my phone. Yeah, <laughs> What's my name in your phone? Putak. Oh, man. <laughs> what about you? I give you Putak. Vladimir Putak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Let's a dictator. <laughs> Look, yeah. Run a tight ship. I get it. It is From like a, like, like when significant yeah, other. Yeah. I'd say Jer. Jer? Jer Bear. Jer Bear. Jer Bear. Jer Bear. He did not like yeah, yeah. that. I, I like Pookie. Pookie. Yeah. 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 And then And then recently it's become Big Pook. I big, like Big Pook. Big Pook is solid. Yeah. That's solid. Big Woo. Big Woo was a good one. People call me Big Woo yeah. a lot, so then I'll, I'll go with Big Pook. Wasn't uh, Pookie a Garfield character? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Uh, Pookie? It's just like a phrase. Odie was the Odie? dog. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Fun fact. I've been I cried in that movie. Huh? I cried in the Garfield movie. I Garfield cried in Garfield. Movie. Movie. Did you read the comics like all the time? As I did. Same. But the actual movie when Odie ran away and he was wet and ro- running down the street, cried. Spoiler Odie's alert. a dog, right? Dog. Aww. Spoiler alert. I don't know when it came spoiler. out. Spoiler. I think I'm like. They'll plan to watch that next week. And <laughs> yeah. now yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. What's a, what's a movie that unexpectedly oh, oh made you cry? Oh my God. What's a movie that made you unexpectedly cry? Ooh, Unexpected. ooh, anything ooh. with a dog in it. Marley and Me. Marley and Me. Uh, my God, that's expected Dude. though. I feel yeah. like there's this was movie about a Japanese dog that like oh. waits for his owner at the station. Oh, even, oh Hiro or something. I don't know, but that movie made me. Hachi, Hachi, Hachi. Hachi. Yeah, Hachi. Yeah. Shit made me cry. Yeah. Yeah. A Millionaire's First Love. That's a Korean romance movie. Shit made me cry. Um, Toy Story Three <laughs> made me cry. Dude. Any movie Who's makes you cry. Avengers, Avengers Endgame made me cry. <laughs> hey, Avengers Endgame yeah, is yeah, yeah. made me elite. cry. Ooh, elite. seven pounds. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Will Smith. Yeah, that's the second a, Avatar movie. movie made me cry. That was what? Still, that is still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Are you nuts? Yep. I, haven't I haven't seen it. I haven't seen, seen it either. either. Everybody's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> what? 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 what oh, that's funny to you, huh? That's funny. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, we're we're comedians now. What did what they say? Huh? What they say? <laughs> I missed it. Oh man! Say it again. He's like, no. Oh, I, I don't like reliving this page. Should have heard it. <laughs> I was drooled. Yo. Vince dying. <laughs> yeah, he's out of there. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, oh um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of other movies that could. Did you I'll say it into the mic? Okay. okay. I hope it picked so. up. I hope we it picked up. up. Well, no, before we, don't have to cut it. before, we, before, before we, we, we let's we, let's we, wrap it though. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I just want to know what what's the worst, most disgusting food you've had? Oh, oh, oh! I got it. Because <laughs> he only eats beef. Okay, beef, but there's bro. a there's a segment we do on our podcast where we surprise each other with different foods. Mm. Now he gave me guacamole. I've never had that before, and Fantastic. it tasted like sediment. <laughs> Unseasoned ground. Like, that's what guacamole... No offense to the guacamole lovers. I hated it. And a good old... A, a, a sardine. Have any... That's ha- gross. Yes, Kay. I love it. Oh, the prison <laughs> under <laughs> it is where you belong. No daylight. No daylight. You never deserve to see freedom. This, for that. <laughs> this, this rat bastard got the, the world's hottest chip. The little... Uh, oh, pack, yeah. Pack, the one chip. Oh, my yeah. God. The one chip challenge. So he gets two of them, right? Completely takes his out, smooth as hell. He takes it out, uh, puts a blue regular corn tortilla chip in there. Oh, you are a no. devil. No, it's literal de- you like are a Satan. devil. Yeah, are like you, first, I, like first class ticket straight to hell. But anyway, <laughs> so he he does this right, and That's he's crazy. like he's like, all right, ready, one, two, three, go. I'm doing. My, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. I start looking at him. 
this asshole's going for like seconds and stuff. He's like, <laughs> just staring at me. And dude, when I tell you, like when it's in your mouth, it's very hot. But as soon as you swallow the chip, it's just like it's game over. Like there's oh, yeah. no, there's no coming back from uh, it. it. Just sears Bro, your. I, I heard some people are, like feel like they're hallucinating. No, I like, they're just like yeah. No, we had to like stop shooting because yeah. like he was he was laughing and it was really good. <laughs> and then I was sitting here like. <laughs> it, it was it was to the point where I was like, I, I got up to walk to the bathroom just to line my mouth with the water from the sink, and I literally couldn't even walk like normal. I was like bent over. I was like, why the hell my bit? Why is my back not working from this chip? Oh my it was goodness. ridiculous. Yeah. Scary. Look. Would you guys do it for five hundred dollars? I'll do it for content. I'll do it for free. On content. Oh, you yeah, do it for content. We're oh. just view whores. Hey, I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, go find it. And that sh- boy. Right now, <laughs> boy. That yeah, is, actually, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> you no. said guacamole. Can you guys believe that? He said guacamole Cause he, cause is the he worst never, food. Yeah, you, you got, you got, got flat got, taste buds for sure. Ground beef with toast for the yeah, breakfast. For breakfast, like, literally. The toast is for the flavor, though. Yeah. The he toast is for <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? The toast is for the flavor. <laughs> I don't think I, I've never had guacamole either, though. Because well, you're, you're allergic. allergic. <laughs> you're allergic to it, rightfully so. Did you make it or did you get it from somewhere? Uh, I didn't make it. Okay. I got it. I got it oh, from, okay, okay. from Chipotle. So, the oh, seed, the oh, salted chips Guac is pretty it's, fucking good. It's good. Thank you. Yeah. That's crazy. He goes, you're not going to like me. <laughs> yeah, like, she, she eats weird shit. I'm going to be like, guess what I brought? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I but the weirdest thing outside of the one chip, I mean, uh, like on a cruise, I had like ox tongue. Oh, hey, you don't like that? Like it. it was all right. Dude, tongue is so good. It was, it was just like, it was more, <laughs> it was more tender. <laughs> Like, Pause. than what I thought it would be. Like, it was yeah. very, like, tender and chewy. And I was just like, taste on point, but I was just like... I don't like, I don't like the texture. I'm yeah, like, that, I was, text, texture's a big thing for me. Like, I don't like uni. Like, I don't mind the flavor. Do you know what uni is? Uni is the... Sea uh, urchin. Yeah, sea urchin. It's like that uh, orangey yellow thing they put on Never top. Never had it. it. It has the texture of, like, a loogie. Oh, come on. Oh, man. yeah. Man. The taste is good. Oh. Thank you so much for... He said, he yeah. said come on. Do y'all, do y'all like oysters? <laughs> You said what? Oysters? Nothing Oy- from the sea for me. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, no, no. no, I'm I'm really like when it comes to seafood, I'm very basic too. Like I'll do crawfish, catfish, shrimp, lobster tail, crab leg. That's, that's all of that's it, a, man. That's about what it. about dungeon and very, very southern choices? Who? Yeah, like <laughs> those are super southern. Crawfish <laughs> yeah. is in there. Yeah, yeah. crawfish. Like dungeon I'll, is crab. Who, who's he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why is he? Where, what dungeon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he locked up? <laughs> what? Yeah, what villain put him away? Like what? Dungeon? <laughs> he said, who is he? It sounds like a comic book, like a like a hero and a villain. Oh my gosh. All right, we're we're approaching time, I think. So yeah, let's, yeah, let's let's uh let's wrap it. Let's wrap it. But um we have an outro for y'all to do. So Ooh, okay. let's do it. Gotta come over here here in the middle. No, no, they gotta give that. Oh advice. shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. So look into this camera and give one piece of advice each to the audience. You no, know, you go first. That's a lot of pressure on me. Cause I was gonna go a silly route. <laughs> so you gotta go the real route. I'm going to just hit y'all with a quote, okay? Everybody in life has two pains to choose. The pain of regret or the pain of discipline. Oh, Fire! Oh. Like that, that was a good one. One out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. Oof, there we go. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's hella sad. That's hella oh, sad. oh, the you should know people. They, they, know, yeah, the, they'll, they'll know. They know what's going on. Koala Is club. Real f- koala club. So, to all our people that are watching this podcast... Go and leave that that special emoji in the comments right now. Y'all yeah. know what to leave them. You know what I mean? Leave it, leave it for them. Flood it, flood you know it. You know what I mean? Them. Hey, let's let's cut this and put okay. this that just that comment in the beginning. Let's see how many comments. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to make sure we get maximum Hell yeah. eyeballs. Oh, you know, oh, they'll, they'll we'll do it. We'll see the comments. They'll do it. The emoji. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll I like they'll they got this. a secret emoji. It makes me jealous. They'll flood this. We should we should figure that out. There's okay. a lot of there's a lot of ideas. I think yeah. we should. We don't even have a name. And that's the show. That's the show. Woo. I'm Peyton Harden. I'm co-host Cam. And we're the You Should Know Podcast. And we are under, under the, the influence. influence. Yeah! That was actually right. Come on, that was Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar Nectar Hard Hard Seltzer. Seltzer.
delicious Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.